What up, what up, what up, man? It's your boy Shavers A Bike Podcast, man. Episode 80, goddamn foe. Got my dog, man. What's up, bro? Motherfucking rapper, producer, singer. Motherfucker was he he was on the bitch with my nigga Polo. He was playing the backfield and shit, dog. Now he front and center, nigga. Yeah. Like motherfucking uh Otis from Temptations and shit. <laughs> <laughs> my nigga RTR Beam, man. What what's up, up though? brother? What's up, man? Oh, yeah, you can smoke, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's all good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But shit, man, what's good with you, man? What's been up, dog? Man, chillin', man. Trying to get this bag right, bro. Man. Trying to take it as high as we can go. Hell yeah, man. Hey, before we get started, bro, today is the first day of school, nigga. Yeah. Give me some bad school memories you had, dog, that you remember and shit, like some oh, funny shit. There's some shit that you remember your first day of school. First day? Mm. I don't remember no first days. You don't remember how it was like the night before, the nigga? First days? Yeah, like that nigga. No, you wasn't pissed. Damn. My mom had me arm my clothes and go to bed early. I was sick. <laughs> hey, man. Then go to school. But I used to, I used to get a, a come to your school. That wasn't the first day, though. Man. Yeah, I was wild in school. Man. I used to, be, bro, I used to get suspended so much. That's why I don't remember school. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was in that bitch. I'm talking about eighth grade, I went to four schools. Damn, nigga. Just in eighth grade, got to kept getting kicked out. Dog, yeah. fucking around what? Fighting? Just yeah, don't give a fuck. My best friend now, bro. I used to. Yeah. He met me, me smacking a nigga in his face. Dog, nigga, that bitch wild as hell, dog. <laughs> yeah, for real, though. Nigga, no. One thing I remember about that shit, dog. My 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 memory about uh, back to school, nigga, is I never got to get no gear until two weeks later. Yeah. So I come in that bitch with shit from last year, hoping I can still fit it. Nigga might have some grass things. Nigga, mom turn the bitch into shorts and uh -huh. shit, dog. And that bitch looking hella <laughs> dumb, nigga. Like, so y'all ain't had uniforms? We hell no. School? I, my, most of my schools, when I went back to school, it was all uniform most of the time. Man, I hell no. Hate uniform. But nigga, find a way to roast that, dog. Cause I remember niggas to roast your uniform. You got them big ass cut. Man. Nigga, or them fat ass payless shoes. Hell yeah. And then, I used to, my mama, when I was real little, I used to get the ball fade. It used to be sick. <laughs> <laughs> Mama started doing that. That's why I was fighting. Yo, you try to <laughs> smack my neck. Now I'm gonna smack your face. <laughs> For real. Nigga, my shit was worse though. I had the chili bowl with a motherfucking ponytail on the back. Oh. So nigga, niggas in that bitch. <laughs> nigga ringing doorbells. Like the little, the little rat tail. Yeah. Oh yeah, my cousin Marshall had that bitch. Nigga ring all the time. Nigga ring a doorbell and then smack your shit, nigga, because your braids the doorbell. Nigga they ring that bitch and then smack your shit, nigga. <laughs> oh, That's a like fight, nigga. the ponytail. Yeah. My cousin was Mexican. He had Mexican though, so he was getting all the hugs with the ponytail. <laughs> <laughs> he was chilling in that. Bitch. She loved that motherfucker. Man, I remember that, that's the one time I slammed the chick, dog, because she put gum in my shit, bro. Oh, yeah. And nigga, I, I slammed her ass, dog. Yeah. I ain't getting suspended. I wouldn't none. say that was bold, but I think I slammed the chick, too. Dog. Hell no, Bro, dog. but the uniform got crispy when I, I went to Oak Park for like my senior year. Yeah. I had some khaki mix, some Prada's on. Y'all yeah, need to start oh, freaking that, that shit yeah, up. Yeah, you start going crazy off the uniform. Nigga, see, I used to have that cheap shit, the French toast uh, shirt. Mm -hmm. Motherfucking, uh, my mom probably gave me some Hush Puppies and some shit. Yeah. That's before time, though. Hush Puppies and Wallabies. Yeah. Motherfucking, uh, the two for 50 Air Force Ones for Mr. Allen's. Yeah. Hey. Uh, I'm already hit. Because I started nigga. getting crispy to high school where I started buying it myself. Hell yeah. Nigga, I never had that opportunity, dog. Because yeah. I'll blow my shit on some drawers when I did get a job. Yeah, that's nigga, what I'm saying. That's it. Then, that's it. <laughs> nigga, what, you going to get outfit? Nope, just some drawers, nigga. Yeah, that's it. Just put some shit on. Man, <laughs> hell yeah. Some nigga. Some nigga has said that uh, it smelled like motherfucking grease outside because, you know, kids getting their face greased up and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wake up looking like a brand new penny. <laughs> I remember that, bro. That good Vaseline. Duh, nigga. And mama, <laughs> showing us shiny. You got a little motherfucker slipping your eye, mind, licking the fingers yeah. and shit, though. Like, damn. My mama ain't never did that. That was bold. Nigga, hell yeah. scared of that. I, I hate the smell of spit. Hell yeah. Hell <laughs> yeah. Hell yeah, dog. This is bold. But shit, man, you know how we go, man. Before we start, man, we do a salute me while I'm here, man. Salute somebody who not in your immediate circle. Can't be mom, dad, kids, girl, and shit. Gotta be somebody outside that box. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of times you wait for niggas to pass away to give them their flowers. Mm -hmm. So, you got somebody you can think of off top? Uh, shit, shout out my nigga David Blue. Yeah. He uh, on the studio suite 328. That's where I be working at. That's okay, where okay. I do all my work at. That's my, that's my guy, bro. We only loan each other for a year. He just got married Sunday. Yeah. Oh, yeah, shit. That's, that's when you say you yeah. had the ankle show on this yeah, shit. Yeah, ankle out. <laughs> Looking sweet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Feel me? Yeah, 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 shout out David Blue, man. That's my boy. Oh, he, uh, well, he an engineer. He just, oh, he yeah, he an engineer. He on the, he on the, uh, studio, too. Okay, that's what's up. That's what's and up. Hipsy, man. That's my dog. He, yeah. he ain't looked out this last year. Yeah. Most of the stuff I got, I get to record for free and make sure. my beats and everything because of him. So I want to oh, yeah. let him know I appreciate him for real, bro. For sure, man. My, my shit, though, ain't got nobody because, like, it be too many motherfuckers, but I am going to salute somebody that we know, uh, since we talking about kids and shit, man. Rest in peace to, uh, Lex. 
You know what I'm saying? He passed away and shit, dog. So I know he got kids and I know it's back to school. So I know that shit could probably be kind of crazy for them and the moms and shit like that. So I'm going to go ahead and salute the kids and the family of uh, Les Fenoy, dog. Hopefully y'all are straight. Yeah, so that's yeah. my dog. Yeah, that was fucked up, bro, getting that news and I shit. I didn't even know you knew Lex, bro. I yeah. saw him get his way. Remember we were talking I about mean, that shit? And Casamigos fucked you. Had you fucked up? At his funeral. I just saw him get his funeral. Oh, for real? Yeah, that's my dog. Yeah. Oh, yeah. His no. brother asked me to come uh, sing at his funeral. Yeah, because when you was over here, that's when I was talking. Me and Polo, yeah. we was talking about like, versus battle, remember? Yeah. And that's when we realized that you was on the uh, on his on his, uh, yeah. on his, on his uh, album yeah. and shit. Yeah, his brother called me. He was like, "His Lex love that song that I, that we did." Oh, yeah, so you album. sung that bitch. So I sung the beginning part of that, and then I sung a gospel song, yeah. and it was nice. It was really man. nice, bro. Yeah, it was big. Man, that shit, that shit crazy, bro. Yeah. Like, and then that shit, like, even though I I knew Lex for a little bit because his his manager at the time was my dog Diddy. Mm -hmm. He uh one who got him to come to the show. But it's like, dog, like, when somebody passed away, it's like, kind of like around your age, you be like, damn, yeah. you start thinking about life for real. Yeah, you start thinking about it, because I ain't gonna lie, most of the time, me growing up, I thought I was invincible. Yeah. And then I just started watching people that I was close to start falling off, dying, bro, shit happening, and you start thinking, like, yeah, I might not be too invincible. Yeah, yeah no, dog, for you real. Know, you gotta put up with it now. Yeah, then you yeah. gotta start thinking about every move you make. Yeah, you gotta like, be real careful. Like, I'm going to gas station, like, nigga, fuck it, I gotta hope this gas, like, because nigga, that's the... <laughs> I swear to God, that shit scares the fuck out of me, dog, getting caught up in the gas station. Because really? that shit happens so much, nigga. Yeah, it do. Like, dog, you got to go at the right time, bro. Like, for Not real. Not even beefing with niggas. It's just niggas out here hungry. Hell yeah. But they want something you got. Man. They going to try to get it. Yeah, because speaking of that, I just tell him, dog, what's that guy shot in the face? They say he's still living, the uh, All-Star JR. Yeah, so I ain't know where he got shot at. I know they yeah. say he's still living. Yeah, we, dog, I was going to work, dog. Working nights, nice, dog. Going out eight miles. That shit was blocked off. Not knowing it was, you know, But he was on stage, wasn't he? No, nah, he was on the street. They roll, they roll up on them. So they was leaving out. So I seen this video, bro. Yeah, I, that one, I don't know if that's like new or old or what. Like, I know what you talking about, though. The video where Dog was standing. Yeah. Also was on the stage. And yeah. Dog was like, he's still putting on. Mm -hmm. That's the video I just seen. That mu It might be old. Yeah, I think, yeah, there's some shit that they rolled up on him in like another car. Okay. And, and, and shot that one dude got, nobody died, but. Yeah, they, that's crazy. Yeah, all of them got hit some type of way and shit. That's crazy. Man, dog. So, uh, hey, nigga, real quick, dog. You fucking with these new albums that's coming out, dog? Yeah. That Don do that motherfucking new Drake I shit? I fuck with both of them. Like, you like so it, though? I, I ain't listen to no. Neither one of them I've been able to listen to them completely through. Yeah, motherfuckers long as hell. Yeah, they super long. <laughs> and some of them just not catching my attention like I wanted to. Some of the songs, like Way Too Sexy, that's fire. Yeah. On Drake shit. Yeah, some of the uh, stuff shit. on Donda. Like, uh, Kanye kind of like an artist like me, like, yeah. on producing and being an artist. Hell yeah. So, like, I appreciate what he trying to do. I know exactly what he trying to do. For sure. My man, uh, Fuego, that's uh, another producer I work with. Okay. He, he said something crazy. He said he felt like it was over overwhelmingly underwhelming. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Like, he did a lot, but he, he did just didn't do enough. Yeah, he did a lot to promote that shit, yeah. make it be seen, but yeah. it's like, damn, like, it don't add up. Yeah, it ain't add up. Now, me and this nigga arguing about, it, bro, like, back then, like, when you hear us, have you ever heard a CD and knew immediately, like, nigga, this is a classic? Yeah, you know it's about to go crazy. Yeah. So what, even what, before you listen to what, it. What, what, what CD you heard, nigga, and, like, our first listen, you like, dog, this is a classic. Because I told him it was, for me, it was Carter 1. I was just about to say the Carter. Nigga, thank you, dog. Lil Wayne, anything Lil Wayne about to drop, <laughs> except for like now, like yeah. I, I, I'll be kind of skeptical now, cause Wayne, it ain't, it ain't coming the same. But yeah. back then, Wayne, that's that's what it was. Like that first fifty, yeah. and that first Jeezy, those was like three albums, nigga. That like as soon as I heard this shit, like oh, this shit, this shit hard, nigga. This yeah. shit classy. And speaking of Kanye West, the graduation, that was another one. Yeah. I'm like, oh, this shit hard. Like the Carter though, like all of them. That's when I, I just know you gotta know it's about to go crazy. This nigga swear but now, Car Two is trash. No. Uh, Car Two hard dog. But Wayne ain't crazy. Bro. That's the dope. <laughs> and now that nigga been killing features. Like I hope this nigga next album about to be hard. All these, yeah. just off these features, dog. Yeah. But shit, man, talking about you, dog. When you was a young motherfucking a young kid, dog, growing up, man, where you from? Who was in the crib? Like brothers, sisters. Like how was it, mom, pops? No, uh, it's my mom. Uh, my two little sisters. That's how I started off. Okay. Never met my pops. Oh, never. Yeah. Shit took damn. I got a lot of brothers and sisters though. Yeah. Pops got forty nine years in prison right now. Oh shit. Damn. Never, never met him though. They know him, but I ain't never met him. Yeah. He yeah. want me to write him right now. I just don't know. You know, I'll be like, what I'm gonna say to you? Yeah, like, yeah, for sure. I got yeah. my own kids. I just know one thing. I always said I wanted to do is make sure none of my kids, at least my kids, know me. You feel me? I'm gonna yeah. always be there for my kids. Hell yeah, hell that's yeah. Some, that's the biggest difference. But it was me, and my. My mama and my two little sisters, I'm not, I'm her oldest. Okay. And my mama got married. Yeah. Uh, he got two daughters and a son. Was That's that? My, that was my first brother. My was it, brother. Did y'all grow up like, like, even though it's not your biological father, like mm -hmm. y'all grew up close, like you and his, his kids? Yeah, yeah, okay. real close, real yeah. close. 
Yeah, Deshae, rest in peace. That was my brother. That was my only brother. He got killed a few years ago. Okay, yeah, rest in peace. Uh, so, yeah, that's how, basically what it was. Yeah. Uh, I'm from E Course, Michigan. Okay. Down River. Yeah. 18th and Views. That's where I grew up. For that's sure. That's where all my family at. Yeah. Um, shit, I went to E Course schools for the longest. What, you went to uh, into sports, dog? Yeah, like, I played football, football nigga. for a little yeah. while, but I used to. Get in trouble so much, I could mm. never stay and just play. Like I play games, <laughs> I play like a game or two, and we lose, and then I'd be suspended, so now I can't play no more. <laughs> and it was crazy because every time I would get suspended, I'd be good and getting good grades. Yeah. And then I start being a good kid, and then my grades start going down. The shit was weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, damn, what I gotta and do? And it was like the Kanye album and Man, shit. Dog. I'm like, oh, this shit crazy. I swear, I get. I think it was. My teachers probably used to say, like, I used to get bored. Like, I'd get my work done real yeah, quick, bro. And I'd just start beating on the desk or making jokes or something. Yeah. Now I'm fighting her, <laughs> getting cussing the teacher out. So now I'm suspended. Duh. I'm in trouble. Hey, nigga, real talk, though. You think, nigga, like, by your, your pops being gone, and then it's you, your mom, your sister, you like, nigga, like, nigga, I'm beating anybody ass at anything. I got to make sure I'm tough. I got to make sure this shit. Like, maybe. Niggas don't look at me crazy and maybe, shit. Maybe, maybe, Cause, maybe. Because, you know, a lot, is it, is it, is it, is it, I ain't going to say it's either you this or that, but a lot of niggas will be growing up, like, with just their mom and their sister, either they be soft as hell or they be uh -huh. hard as hell. Yeah, but I got a lot of uncles, though. Okay, like, okay, A yeah, lot yeah. of uncles. Like, yeah. So too yeah. many. You feel me? So it ain't like I ain't grow up with no no role model but some of my uncles well i got uncles and great uncles mm -hmm. they not completely positive role models you feel me they really from the streets yeah for sure so now i know when i get to school you got something to say about my mama or they used to talk about my mama minivan <laughs> you're like your mama got that minivan your mama don't got no car nigga is you good yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fuck you. so we used to get into it about little shit like that bro yeah. and i used to spite a lot bro Duh, a lot. you you definitely get to it if somebody talk about your mama car nigga. my mom used to put up in a station wagon i definitely Duh. got roasted for that nigga <laughs> like you mad because my mama got a van <laughs> It's a mama. She's a mother. Hell yeah, nigga. That's what it's oh, supposed weird. to have, nigga. It's a mom van, nigga. Shit. That shit funny. Duh, hell no. I don't know what it was, though. And then, then I think I used to, shit, just like I said, get bored and just try to have fun. So that For shit sure. just got in the way. I used to get in a lot of trouble, though. Hell yeah. Hell I used yeah. to. I'm talking about, I remember... I got in a fight with dog because it was his birthday. We was giving him birthday licks. He so, wanted to get mad at me. So I put him in a full Nelson. I'm swinging him off his feet like this. Like, nigga, you tripping. And they said, I pushed the security guard. Suspended me for 30 days. Yeah. My mama had to work. My auntie brought me back. He said, if you enroll him in another school, I won't expel him. We don't want him here. Damn. And that was e -Quest High School, bro. Man, he's going crazy, So dude. then I went to Cherry Hill. Academy in Inkster. Yeah. That's where I met him. Yeah. And they used to do the seventh grade versus eighth grade shit. Yeah. A little seventh grader got mad at me. I smacked him in his face. Duh. <laughs> they expelled me that this same nigga week. Full of anger, nigga. <laughs> Dog, it was just crazy. Like, cause I was like, it was always something playful. Right? Yeah. First thing. Damn, it's your birthday. It's birthday looks. Why yeah. is you mad at me? Yeah. <laughs> I used to hate that shit though. Thank God my birthday was in June, nigga. Out of school and shit. <laughs> niggas be getting out of school. Yeah. <laughs> niggas be getting tagged up, nigga. Like, yeah, when your be, birthday? You ten? You got about twenty niggas hitting you, dog. You got two hundred hits. You only ten. <laughs> you was only supposed to get hit ten times. You got two hundred because it's twenty niggas. That's crazy. Dog. Hey, remember? Dog, remember that shit, bro? Like for real, niggas get their ass beat, nigga. Then for real. nigga find out, man, yo, yo, your birthday until after school, you can't hit me. Right. And then you be like, damn, is he right? Like, <laughs> should I be hitting this nigga? Cause he can't, he can't, he can't retaliate. Right. Then you got that nigga. I'm ready to start like, nigga, get you a couple little boom, boom, boom. It's like them last three. They put their whole fucking power in that bitch. Like, yeah. and you frogged up, nigga. Red. I'm white skin, so I got nigga red marks all over me, nigga. Then, a, then the bitch wanna come over and hit you. Like, oh, get the fuck out of here, bro. She <laughs> talking about, yeah, <laughs> dog. But that definitely could turn to a scrap, but nigga. Yeah. So all your shit on some playful shit, nigga. Yeah. My mama, yo mama, nigga. We're telling jokes type shit. Yeah. And niggas just get mad, and I'm just not going. Cause if a nigga run out, you're about to beat me up. Yeah, huh? if a nigga run out of jokes, nigga, you be like, damn. Yeah, they right. get mad real quick. Yeah, That's I mean, what it was. Can you please stop, sir? Well, you gonna know, start <laughs> with the joke, so I keep going. Like I, I'm good at roasting too. Like when I'm really in there, yeah. I'm in there. We was just at the wedding outside roasting. I was killing them. <laughs> I was killing. Them. I'm talking about with my ankles out killing them. <laughs> Duh. Hell no. <laughs> Couldn't nigga, say that. Niggas is going back to that. Yeah, you kill nigga. That's yeah. that's how you know, nigga. You gotta have strong skin, nigga. Your feelings get hurt, boy. You say wrong shit. I grew up like that. Like my uncles 
all my people they used to just roast you all day so you gotta you had to be able to come back yeah, so yeah, you yeah. gotta be quick on your feet then you got to because as soon as you slip up it's a wrap because yeah. when you slip it's like a nigga gonna keep going keep yeah, going now they and then, to hurt your feelings the, the stupid shit he say even funny he like nigga that's not even funny but yeah. <laughs> niggas that bitch just laughing said, I'm shaped like a grand cracker why is y'all laughing because yeah. <laughs> he roast your ass so tough that yeah. anything he say out his mouth nigga about to uh, laugh alright you better you ready to walk away then you got Keisha you been f feeling Keisha uh, she laughing so now you hurt her <laughs> That be, those be old niggas who start shooting niggas and shit when they right. get older. Become cops and shit. Whole ass cop and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why you so mad? Because I was never too funny. <laughs> <laughs> niggas getting roasted all his life. Like, man, I'm about to be a cop. Bro, that is, and bro. That all these niggas. For, niggas real. for real. A lot of cops be whole ass niggas when they was growing up, dog. No. For real. See you later and be like, what's up, funny guy? <laughs> <laughs> now I got some authority Let's go down to shit. the station. No, for real, dog. No, yeah. it's crazy. Like, I wasn't expecting you to even be saying, like, you got kicked out of school a lot because I... You know, you was talking about on Polo shit that you went to uh, Central State. Yeah. And that's in Ohio, right? Yeah. So, like, your grades must have been straight enough to, you know what I'm saying, get accepted and shit like that. Let me tell you, bro. <laughs> God-given talent is amazing. Yeah. Bro, I, I swear. My... Shit. So, let me see. Senior year. Yeah. I was in music. I went to... I was in the band. Okay. Right? I played trumpet. Yeah. So, I went to the band director, Al Level, at Inkster, went to Old Park. Mm-hmm. They hired him at Oak Park, so he took his good band members with him. Yeah, oh, you sure. know? So we went over there with him. Me and my boy Delano, yeah. we got into it with a security guard. Like, the security guard was tweeting. Let me tell So, bro, let me tell you. So, no. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Y'all can tell me if I'm this wrong. This is the old right? school career. Bro, that shit, bro, bro. This shit, bro. It's my senior year, bro. Nigga, Delano let somebody use, or somebody I use, I let somebody use my book yeah. the day before. So I go to the second floor to their class to go ask the teacher nicely. Delano walked with me. That's my dog, my brother. You feel me? He, we go to there. I say, uh, excuse me, can I get this book from your student? And she yeah, say, yeah. Sure. Delano standing at the door with his headphones on. Yeah. She like, you gotta take your headphones off. He like, what? Yeah. He ain't mean to do it like that, but he couldn't yeah, hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She I'm like, sure. you gotta take your headphones off. He like, all right. By the time we we leaving out, get in the hallway, yeah. she calling security. Security meet us around the corner. Yeah. Say, let me get your IDs. I said, all right. Yeah. Delano got on headphones. He ain't hear him. Yeah. He said, let me get your ID. Pull yeah. his lanyard. Oh, the bitch ain't no breakaway yeah. lanyard. <laughs> so we pulled my brother neck. You feel me? He like, we like, I'm like, you tripping, bro. You a yeah. whole kid. You tweaking. He big security guard, yeah. too. I'm big now. He probably was bigger than what yeah. I am now. <laughs> feel me? So we get, we arguing. He like, y'all going to the office. We get in the hallway. Ain't no cameras no more. Yeah. We get in the stairwell. Yeah. Man, the security guard did this to him. Huh, in yeah. his solar place. Delano curled up. Yeah. I said, nigga, he a whole kid, you tweaking. Yeah. He said, man, fuck you. Put me in the headlock. Yeah. Delano jumped on his back. <laughs> <laughs> we scrapping with this nigga. Yeah. All the classmates come out. He like, I'll break his fucking neck. Yeah. Uh, I got expelled for that. Damn. How? Now, that, that, that was some that bullshit. Was, I, uh, thank you. Because when I was a kid, nobody thought it was bullshit. No, it was always the kid. Yeah, because a lot of times security guards be doing some whole shit because they, that was shit was they mad they doing security. So look. <laughs> you feel me? So look, so after that I got expelled, I went back to Inkster High School yeah. for the last year, and then I got inquired because I can sing. Okay. So I always did this stuff because, shit, I want to go to college. I want to get a scholarship. For sure. So I got back in the choir, and my last week, bro, it's probably like the last two days my english t teacher told me i did not have enough points yeah damn to, i said what <laughs> guess what because i how they know like i do my music stuff and they they know i got a, like a future ahead of me i For guess sure. she's told me she's like ask mr DeBose if you can get these last points he's the choir director yeah so he already Bro, <laughs> i went to go ask mr DeBose. i had just did some fucked up shit and got in trouble with mr DeBose. <laughs> He said, no, I don't think I could do it. No. <laughs> I was sick. Bro, no. I'm talking about choir directors from college that already came down yeah. and did my little uh, audition. Yeah. I had sung for them and everything. They about to give me scholarship. He's like, I can't do it. Damn. Uh, last day, like a couple days before graduation, yeah. I look at my shit. He actually called down there and told her, yeah, you can give him the last oh, couple more. He had your ass scared, Yeah, though. he had me, bro, bro. No. I'm like, damn, bro, what the fuck? <laughs> I ain't even tell my mom yet. Like, my mom not about to graduate this week. No. <laughs> I ain't say none of that, bro. I just let it ride. I'm like, that's no, so, so you ain't say shit, but... Like you dressed up for graduation? Your no, parents? it wasn't that close. It okay. wasn't like it was okay, probably okay, a few okay. days before. Yeah, I was remember like the last day of school. You know, graduation <laughs> yeah. probably was the next. Yeah, week yeah, 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 yeah. It was like, bro. That like, shit happened to me too, though, bro. I, I, all classes, I skipped African American history the whole year. Yeah. I, all classes, nigga. Like, yeah. <laughs> I didn't think I needed that shit, dog. And then that's when they looked at my credits, like, nigga, you need her to pass you. Nigga, I had to beg her, bro. I had for to do. Real. And one day I did like twenty assignments and took a final, mm -hmm. nigga, to be able to pass that bitch. I had niggas come from out of town, nigga. 
everywhere. Like, man, you know? I had to graduate. Huh? So that shit. So you say that shit. That's how. That's what got you to Central State, dog. Is, is your uh, your singing ability? And yeah. Shit? Yeah. I just being able to do this shit like I do it. Yeah, and then sure. I didn't, it wasn't like I was too far off. All my other classes I had yeah, passed, good, I don't yeah. know how. Because yeah. I was a senior, so I was skipping all the time. Yeah, for sure. So I think that's why me and the boys the was mad at me. I think I had skipped a couple of his classes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that yeah. was my dog. He drove me down to Kentucky State, me and him. Yeah. So I can go audition for Kentucky State. They gave me a scholarship, but Central came down. Matter of fact, I was going, I went to Wilberforce first. Okay. The director at Wilberforce University switched to Central after my first freshman year in college. Yeah. So he came from Wilberforce and auditioned me and gave me an even bigger scholarship. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go there. Okay. You know? Yeah. Wilberforce was the first private HBCU in America. Yeah, so you I'm went like, there for yeah. just that first yeah. year? And then first year, then he transferred over. I transferred too. Kept oh, yeah. my scholarship. So. Yeah, now nigga, yeah. talk about that because we ain't had too many people on show who went to college, dog. Like, yeah, I most, went. Most niggas don't be like, I ain't fucking around. I went, with and you. that's probably some of the best times in my life. Yeah, I didn't go to a lot of classes. Yeah, I was saying because because so Central State is a is is, is right next to the you know saying to Detroit. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah, it's right by the crib, but yep. it's a it's a black school, so yep. you still messing around. So you get in state tuition if you from Michigan, like oh straight. So yeah, yeah. in state tuition, so you get charge your tuition like if you was from Ohio. Yeah, yeah, damn, so, I didn't know that shit. You know, Wilberforce and Central, they right across the street from each. I'm talking about. Three minutes, you yeah. walk across the street. It's a oh, speedway shit. in the middle. You go, and Central is a bigger school than yeah. Wilberforce. Wilberforce is small, but that's where you want to go. We go yeah. over here to party. Yeah, so like, you so still fucking to... with them even before yeah, you went there. Yeah, yeah, we was fucking with them. Or sometimes we used to be beefing with them. Yeah. Like, but sometimes <laughs> it was just good. Then it got to a point where it was all good. You feel me? Nah, was your fighting career over then once you got to college, though? Because <laughs> this nigga had a career in fighting. Like... Yeah, but for the most part, <laughs> even when I didn't, bro, no, it wasn't. And then they probably like, I did get, I did get in the fight there. Oh, I beat dog ass <laughs> And they tried to jump me And they were scared When I got up I said who the fuck jumped me All my boys had came out That came in with me As a freshman They pulled everybody off me I'm like They was all like <laughs> Me and dog though We started fighting again I was pushing his mouth In the door Dog this nigga had career This motherfucker Dog that shit was bold So dog like nigga Me I'm thinking dog You know I, I went to college For uh, all of uh, 30 days and shit yeah. To Juco and shit dog But like going to a black school I know it's like Hoes galore mm. Like nigga It gotta be hard Keeping them grades Ever going to class Like with all these Black chicks in this yep. Motherfucker though How was that shit Like imagine Trying to go to class Doing this choir shit, shit But then Got all these hoes that All over the place was impossible for me <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about I barely went to class I only went to the classes I like to go to Yeah I only went to choir Yeah for sure <laughs> I only went to piano class Or yeah. theory class Cause I had to You know yeah. I learned all the theory Like I learned I didn't graduate yeah. I learned everything I was supposed to learn And I'm still for in sure. the field That I wanted to So oh, it was yeah, like sure. yeah. It was a life experience yeah. you you feel yeah. me? I always said I didn't need that piece of paper. I'm in $44,000 in debt yeah. for that yeah. paper. For and then, sure. even though, so my son was born my probably the last year I was in college. Yeah. I was in music theory two, mm. and that class was Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. Yeah. to 9.50. And then, so my son was there, yeah. so I would be missing class sometimes. Sometimes yeah. I had to go to work. Sometimes I had to do this. Sure. So look, this music theory class, bro. Everybody else going to this class. Yeah. I'm missing it. Like my attendance, yeah. like I can't pass without yeah, this sure. attendance, right? Yeah. The uh, Dr. Denza, he's an old white teacher, bro. Yeah. Like he been there forever. Like the books. He made the book. Yeah, he's selling to us. You feel me? So if I got to take his class again, I got to buy his book again. Put yeah. some more money in his pocket. Type shit, right? So he say, uh, looking at that, your attendance, Mr. Sykes, uh, you're, I don't know if I'm going to be able to pass you, but let's see what you get on the final. If you get a good grade on the final, we can yeah, make some work. Good. Bro, I got an A+. Plus. I got the highest grade in the class on that final. Yeah. I'm working on a car. Yeah. And he called my phone. and was like, yeah, but because of your attendance, I still can't pass you. I nigga, said, fuck y'all. Yeah, no ass Never nigga. again, bro. Because y'all, if that means, all right, I wasn't there all the time. Yeah. But that means every single piece of information you taught everybody in that class, I still learned it without yeah. your help. For sure. You know? And I'm like, yeah, y'all got me fucked up. Y'all just want my money now. So Hell I stopped yeah. going. And I only went so I can, I was going for vocal performance, uh, learning about, like, the theory of music and everything. Yeah, so sure. I learned that. I still popped out yeah. without it, got my kids, and yeah. I'm still working as an engineer, as a producer in the studio. Hell yeah. A rapper and a singer. Yeah. You, know? Yeah. you know, so. So, so, so looking back at that shit, you said it was a good experience, but dude, like, if you knew what you knew now, would you have even took that chance to go down there? Or you said, fuck, I'm, I'm, I'm here at the crib. I'm going to do what I got to do now. I don't know, bro. I, I, I probably would have still went. Yeah. I probably would have still went because I still had fun. I met a lot of people. Like, it, Connections. Networking right? is something yeah. crazy, yeah. Man, bro. That was a big yeah. networking. Like, my boy, uh, they had a band named My Soul. Uh, my baby mama is a singer. She she sings. Like, she's a way better singer than me. She's yeah. singing in Europe and Prague and stuff. Okay. And 
So his name and another guy like his name Remy Williams. Yeah, yeah he played drums. That he was the drummer for my so. Okay. He play uh he the, he the drummer for Summer Walker right now. Oh straight up. Yeah, Damn. you feel me? So yeah, that's yeah. somebody I'm close to and I know personally. Yeah. Like if I didn't go to school there, I probably wouldn't have never yeah, got never to meet that person. Yeah, but yeah. if I, I can bump into him again, you know, yeah. like so stuff like that, bro. Plus I did have fun in the woods, hoes galore. <laughs> Hell <Man>. yeah. <laughs> that Hell was yeah. awesome. God, but I say shit because in, in, in hindsight you could have just. They used to call my dorm room the dungeon because I used to not come out that bitch for so long. <laughs> Just having fun. <laughs> Fuck a hole. Be nice and like shit, that, dog. Right? <laughs> be pussy, be nice. <laughs> like, what you do now? Be pussy, I beat your ass. <laughs> Just uh, beat it. Hell yeah. <laughs> dog, For real, funny, Cause no, you never thought about like, damn, I could've just went to Spence Howard. Yeah, something like that. But, but like, it would've been cheaper. Is that, is that a good school, though? I don't know. Like, it's for broadcasting to? and stuff, but I don't know. Yeah. I know some people that went there. Yeah. I think I, I just met somebody like a few months ago. Say he just graduated. From as far as getting an engineer game, up, I thought about that shit, bro. Cause that's the shit, dog. Like, I wish I would knew about shit. I knew now. Cause I would went to school for production engineering yeah. and shit like that. Cause yeah. you can never be too old to do that shit. Yeah. Like nigga, you can do that shit till you die, nigga. Yeah. Like for you just gotta be dope at it and be able to yeah. go with the times yeah. and shit. And yeah. if I if I was to do it, I want to do it like where I can pay for it out my pocket. Like I ain't trying to. I don't need no loans. Cause when I first went, bro. I, I never was taught what credit was. Yeah, like, you nigga, couldn't even man. tell me. Like, when I got there, bro, they sent, had this promissory loan note. I just signed it. I got a scholarship, too, in grants. Nigga. I just signed that bitch. Then I had a job at Home Depot. I was just in the mall about to go get some screwbacks. Mm -hmm. Lady offered me a, 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 a card for Osterman's Jeweler. I ain't know what it was. Take I ain't know how to shit. use it. It was $3,000. Yeah. I took that bitch and ran it up. <laughs> and I was paying it off until... Me and baby mama got into it. Yeah. I ain't got my job no more, so it's done. <laughs> yeah. Then credit just started going crazy. I'm Duh. like, I can get along here, along here, along here. Oh, y'all, I went crazy. Nigga, that's some shit that you don't. Nigga, I niggas never don't. knew what it was. Yeah, because most of your parents don't, they got fucked up credit, so they don't yeah, know how to take so, care of their right. shit. So we ain't even having conversations. Yeah, about it. and nigga, most time, nigga, my, my name was on cable bills. Nigga, I'm like fucking 12. Like, yeah. bro, my credit already getting fucked up right. early. Don't like. even know it. <laughs> <laughs> but how you pull that one up? Hell Say yeah. my birthday is. <laughs> so, <Hell yeah. laughs> nigga, I ain't paying no cable. <laughs> <laughs> For sure, so nigga, like, dog, we coming to we coming to this this, this life, nigga, and credit fucked up. We don't know how to repair that shit, know. but it's never too late. But it's like, dog, a lot of times I be thinking, like, man, I wish I would have had took care of this shit at a young age, dog. Yeah. Like my son, mom pressuring me to move. You know what I'm saying? Cause we got a kid, but I'm not ready. We go to apartment, nigga. We can't pay that bitch no more. So that's on your credit, nigga. Yeah, so nigga, shit, yeah. that's your fuck you. So I'm telling my kids right now, nigga, like. Make sure you take care of that shit, cause that shit worth more than having money. You yeah. got money and bad credit. You paying for every fucking thing. You got that good credit, nigga. You can get whatever. Yeah, whatever you want, and nigga. just pay it off in increments. Hell yeah. And, and incrementally, incrementally paying it is just gonna make your credit go higher. Hell if yeah. I knew that in the beginning, bro, I, my credit would be sky high. Man. I, that promissory note, bro, fucked me up. Like, all right, I don't even know why I'm signing this. Yeah. What a, what is a loan? Hell yeah, <laughs> like, for nigga, sure. And I ain't touched that forty four thousand at one time at that moment. Like, y'all yeah, yeah, yeah. got me. Duh, got you got good. Me. Them nigga, books weren't working on that. I could have made them books for y'all. <laughs> now <laughs> you know what you know what to do on the production side and the yeah. engineer side. Like, would you ever think about teaching a class? Like teaching niggas, oh, like yeah. young niggas coming up. I always up? say, I always say, when I get old and dusty and I can't perform and be on stage <laughs> no more, I'm gonna teach it. You feel me? So little black kids like me. They got little like little God given talent. And shit, though. Yeah. yeah, you can take your talent to make a skill out of it. Cause you ain't got too many. Cause niggas just be thinking like coming up in high school. Niggas want to hoop. Niggas want to rap. Niggas mm -hmm. want to motherfucking uh play football. Shit like that. But they don't be knowing there's other shit that's gonna probably get you more money and shit. Yeah, though. For so real. you know what I'm saying. But it ain't no outlets to even go. Be like nigga a workshop to teach you how to like motherfucking make music or mm -hmm. play a piano or shit like that, dog. They got stuff like that, bro. It's just it's search. slim to none. Yeah. You feel me? So you gotta make it. You gotta search your ass off. Yeah. What's one talent, bro, that you didn't have, but you wanted to learn growing up, nigga? Like, for example, for me, niggas don't know I wanted to tap dance. Uh-huh. <laughs> <Like, laughs> Damn. This the first time I heard this. Did we talk about this earlier? No. Nope. We did Nope. So it was this nigga named Gre Gregory Hines, dog. He had this movie called Tap. And it, I'm like, bro, this, this bro, you shit You a silly nigga. <laughs> Why do I feel like you lying to us? I swear to God, I'm on everything, bro, on everything. I wanted to tap dance. This so, nigga just said he thought about that. Dog. Yeah. So nigga, that's all. I ain't movie. gonna lie, I probably I wanted to too. Like, dog. Everybody wanted to be tap dancing on the low. Go watch this shit called this movie called Tap, bro. Gregory yeah. Hines, dog. Uh -huh. And nigga, I used to put my church. She was going to the kitchen, nigga, and be trying to do that shit. <laughs> I told mom like, dog, put me in tap class. Like, I want to be a tap dancer. What's well, some shit that niggas don't know that you wanted to fuck around and do, dog? Bro, I used to could dance like yeah. a motherfucker, like yeah. all that ticking, crumping shit. I used to do that, bro. Yeah, and then yeah. I got real big. <laughs> 
<laughs> hey, look, I was just at the wedding fooling again. I'm like, I still can do it. Duh. But uh, shit, hooping. I want. I really want to learn like how to hoop. Like yeah. hoop, hoop. Yeah, like, yeah, I never sure. got that chance to hoop like that. Did you used to like hoop a little bit growing up? Or like, yeah, I hoop a little bit, but I up. wasn't sweet like that. But mm-hmm. I can. I could make some points, and I was big, so yeah, yeah, play yeah. a little defense. But I never was the one that I can do all the shit that get you all the highlights. Real quick with it, you know. Yeah. I want all that Hand, yeah. handles everything. Yeah, yeah. That's one thing I always wanted to do. Yeah, my first time just uh, letting that go though. I want the motherfucker tap dance, and I wish I could jit, nigga. I always get that right hand. Oh yeah, I could do all that. <laughs> I'm talking about I used to be in that bitch like man. The nigga, I just hate when they be doing the hard nigga. shit, nigga. Throw that bitch up, eat it, nigga. T pain on your head, <laughs> motherfucker pinball machine. <laughs> We used to be on that, bro. We used to battle in school. Duh. Going crazy. Once well, that motherfucker, once well, that shit got from the right hand, it was over, nigga. <laughs> that bitch could not get from that shoulder. Was stuck at the shoulder, like, yeah. nigga, where's the rest of the war? Nigga, that shit was over, nigga. I mean, that bitch, man, as hell, niggas, that bitch ticking, nigga. That bitch hitting the baseball bat, nigga. Yeah. My cousin real used to kill that shit, bro. Like, man, fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Jitting and ticking, something I couldn't yeah. do, nigga. Yeah, that was that shit. Uh, I'm talking about I used to go. Man. Whole parties and shit. Yeah. So, uh, you know what I'm saying? Before we get to your music, bro, a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, you get your influences from the crib. Mm-hmm. Shit that you, you liking because your mom or, or, you know what I'm saying, brothers, sisters, they playing. What's well, some shit that you was liking just based off of uh, people around you, dude? Like artists. Like what you mean? Artists wise. Like me, my mom used to motherfucking make pancakes and she playing Nia Baker and shit. Mm-hmm. Side A. So I'm liking that shit just because I hear it. Who were some people that you was liking just because you hear your mom playing it? Mm. Or she my mama, my mama, when she, she, my mama, an evangelist now, bro. Yeah. And she, so she listened to a lot of gospel music. That influenced a lot of my music too. Yeah, for sure. Gospel music, so like, Molly music, and that's a newer artist, but okay. like that's one of my favorite artists, bro. That influenced my music because I can take it and mix it with the rap and the hip hop mm-hmm. and do something different with it. That's one of the main people, one of the main gospel music. That's it. Yeah. When it comes to what my mama listened to, she ain't listen. She, was she listen- just started listening to my music. Yeah, she don't like listening. So she to was it. straight gospel. Yeah, for real. What about your? Uh, what about her? Your step house or whatever. Like, was he on, on to some shit or? or yeah, nah? he listened to older music, but then when he got on my mom, you know, they made that that bond, that connection where they both was looking for something better. Yeah. So he started listening to gospel music too. Yeah, for sure. You know? Hell so. yeah. I guess it's kind of important though when you give somebody dog like to. I don't know. Yeah. You, like, you like try to like understand where they come from and shit, so then yeah. you know what I'm saying, start tapping into their yeah, life. And then y'all, yeah, because I I know they both needed help when they first yeah. got together. Like for they sure. both was looking for something better. Hell yeah. So then once he found it in her, he was yeah. like, oh yeah. And it's, so they connected and yeah. built something strong. No, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Got me saying shit with me and my wife, dog. Like, nigga, she, she, she super laid back. I'm super motherfucking funny, so we kind of yeah. like fit each other and shit, yeah. nigga. So I'll be breaking that shit out of her and shit. She ain't as corny yeah. as she used to be. Out that shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, for sure. Yeah, so, nigga, shit. give me a uh, give me a song or an album, bro, when you think about it. Like, nigga, take you back to a time. Like, maybe your first time you smacked the nigga, you, it was a song playing in your head. Like, <laughs> like what's, a, what's a song or an album, nigga, like, you think about that shit, like, dog, I remember that shit, like, I was just going to ninth grade or some shit like that. Uh... Cause nigga with me it was what's name nigga that Snoop Dogg remember that song beautiful dog what for real yeah that's that shit nigga, that got me thinking about nigga just wearing hella jerseys bro and yeah, like, yeah that was that shit all the holes in the video yeah. like I started like really like looking at holes like yeah. damn this bitch thick as hell like yeah. like this probably like Lil Wayne like Lollipop or Fireman yeah I was born in ninety four oh yeah yeah so yeah that was, you was, a bit younger, was my man. my era right yeah. there hell like, yeah like Fireman something like that. Yeah, but when that light pops on, that's what birthed all these niggas now. Yeah. Cause niggas wasn't rapping or singing like with that little melody type rap like yeah. how he was. And, he did like, start that. Yeah, Damn, with future all the niggas, dog, for real. Yeah. Now we talked about this last time, nigga. Cause you was talking about how you was a a, a burning nigga, like you was stealing music and shit. Mm. Like, mm-hmm. Cause we was talking about like first oh, on album. The CDs? Yeah. I'm like nigga, I write all my music, shot line. <laughs> 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 like nigga, would you that nigga making like mistakes and shit, dog? Yeah, I make CDs. I just pick certain songs, just throw them on the CD, bro. Yeah. I wasn't even selling. I was making it for myself. Yeah. Put in the CD player. For sure, dog. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, cause I, I, nigga, I remember nigga, wire, my, wire. I fucked my uncle computer up, nigga. Filling I, it up with all that, yeah, because cause that shit used to be bold. Nigga, you don't have a dollar. Hell yeah, Fuck, slow as hell. Nigga, that take you, wire. you, take you two that hours to make a CD, nigga. <laughs> For real. And then you start. Like, <laughs> hell yeah. CD, then be mad because you scratch the shit. Or, or you have burnt the wrong fucking uh, CD because they ain't got another song you got on your shit on the real shit. Mm-hmm. So you um, think you got that real CD, nigga? Your so shit. You got some fake shit. You got the motherfucking unreleased shit, nigga. <laughs> Mistake oh, shit from the west. <laughs> <laughs> like, this ain't shit That's on the album nigga. For real dog yeah. Now talk about you dog When you first started Doing music dog Like Was your uh, Your first uh, your, your name was uh, Was it Devon Maurice 
or Davon? Devon. Devon. Yeah. So you still go by that, or just like just no, RTRB? So, so, hmm. How can I put this? All right. So first, I started off with as one eight. I told John from Ecor, it's one eight. For and sure. 18th Street was everything to me. Yeah, like yeah. Jumping off the porch, getting in the streets. I yeah. was with my uncle, so that's why it was one eight. And this the first person I started rapping with in his basement for real. For sure. So one eight. His name was Jeezy. I did Devon Maurice, like probably like four, five years ago. Yeah. Maybe not even that. Only because I, I was gonna do like strictly R and B type shit. Yeah, you know I'm like Devon Maurice sound like R and B name. Yeah. So I'm about to sing to a nigga. Be like Devon Maurice. That was gonna be sweet. <laughs> yeah. Then uh, R T R Bean came from. So Bean came from my mama. Okay. So my uh, my uncle he called me Bean like B I N G, and I always wanted to know where it came from. So I asked my mama. She said, when you was a baby, you had a lot of energy, like a jumping bean. Yeah. So once I thought about it, I'm like, man, bean, not a bad name. Like, yeah. hey, I used to try to run from it. Yeah, I but now, I, and not, I'm bean. Like, when you yeah, see yeah. me in the streets, I'm bean. Yeah. If you see me anywhere, I'm bean. RTR came from my other little brothers. They rap, too. They some of my artists. Okay. They came with it, like, I want to say two years ago. I had a studio in my basement like yeah, this. For sure. Sweet. And they started rapping with me. They was like, we need to come up. Look, what about RTR? And that's realest to remain. Okay. I'm like, all right. So I put RTR on top of being. And then yeah. it just ran with it. And it, yeah. it worked. Yeah, so when I, they asked me what it mean, they be like, what it mean? Realest yeah. to remain. Like, yeah, yeah that shit dope, dog. Because somebody be on some weak ass. Like, your motherfucking stage name is important, bro. Yeah, it's really important. Like, nigga, yeah, really you can't important. have no bullshit, dog. Like, like uh, what if it was something corny? <laughs> like, RTR, what does that stand for? If it could have been corny. Yeah. Nigga would have looked at me like, man, he corny. But he sure can see. No, for <laughs> he real. A rapper, bro. rapper. We had some people on this on this on this show, boy, with some names, nigga. We'd be like, dog, who did we laugh at like a mo? <laughs> I was fucked up. <laughs> nigga name, nigga. But this nigga rap name, like, nigga be their real names or, like, yeah. they really got some, they really love this name, nigga. We be thinking, like, that's, that's how y'all know I'm the real estate man because they ain't laughing my name. <laughs> <laughs> dog, there been some niggas we get like, dog, you see, nigga, how am I going to introduce this nigga without laughing? Remember that shit? Damn. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> I'm trying Crazy. to think, like, how can I introduce this nigga, dog? Because his name was so fucking funny. I'll tell y'all niggas off camera, dog. Because I ain't going <laughs> to anybody look at shit. He's be like, damn. Because <laughs> nigga, I, <laughs> hey, why? I was wondering why they were laughing at <laughs> Come on, I said nigga, now I made sure I look at this nigga, dog, because I know it's going to be that a nigga rap. Say, uh, so we got blow up like the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you mean what? Dog, that nigga name was trash. Like, but, uh, so your name is important, bro. Yeah, it is. Hell yeah, nigga. <laughs> nigga, important as hell. Like, nigga, my name Young Ponsaw, nigga. What? what? Nigga, what? <laughs> now, that's the power of Ponsaw here. <laughs> hell yeah. So, nigga, like, at what age, bro, like, you was talking about how, you, you know what I'm saying, growing up, going to school, shit, you was in choir, like, at what age do you want to be an artist, like, and take that shit serious, dog? Like, this, like, this is what I want to fucking do. Before you was, like, when you wasn't, you know what I'm saying, thugging out here and shit. So, it probably had to be, like, what, 10th, 11th grade? Yeah, because yeah. I went to, so, damn, the eighth grade year, <laughs> my mama sent me to Georgia. <laughs> the last school I got kicked out. No, you know you're bad as hell when you get sent away out of town. I stayed with my Auntie Lori, bro. Yeah, so, uh, rest in peace, my Auntie Lori. She died from COVID last year. Damn. Yeah, that yeah, was my baby. That was my other mama. I stayed in Georgia for two years. Yeah. But I met him at eighth, and then I left that school, went to another school, and used to get kicked out of <laughs> Got sent to Georgia, and I don't remember doing no music like that in Georgia. Yeah. I always would make the beats and freestyle a little bit, but sure. I never was recording it. Yeah. Then I came home. He said, I stayed up the street from him. Yeah. Didn't even know my mom and them stayed up the street from him. Yeah. I was walking down the street with a guitar. Yeah. I don't know where, where <laughs> I had it from. Told me it was that. my sister's guitar, and I just yeah. wanted to go make some music. He stopped me, bro. Yeah. He stopped me, and we talked about it, bro. And I just started coming down the street. He had a big ass basement. We started, yeah. we hooked up a microphone. Yeah, for sure. Up, man. Yeah, yeah. Then that's when we started doing music for real. Yeah. And we was doing shows at what club, club scene, Blondies. Yeah. When yeah, we yeah, was in high Blondie, school, yeah. bro. Yeah. And they used to look at us, grown ass motherfuckers, like, yeah, y'all niggas sweet. Like, yeah. We started taking it serious. Some of our music was kind of corny. I hate that we even did it. Yeah. But we had some shit for real. Yeah. So we was, was it crazy. was it was it strictly was it rap singing or mixture? Both. It was a mixture. Yeah. Always been a mixture. And a, and we was making the beats. Yeah. Like it was crazy, bro. Now that I look at it, like last year was the first year I actually saw. I think I used to hold myself back. I didn't want to pay nobody for features. Hell yeah. Feel me? Shit like that. Uh, and then I think, like, making my beats or engineering and recording myself, I used to think it wasn't good enough. Mm -hmm. Until I started going to the studio, and they started hearing my shit, and they was like, you sweet. Yeah, like, I sure. never knew if I was actually doing the technical shit yeah. to be like, yeah, you really sweet with this shit. No, I thought, nigga, I need this to be at negative 3 dB, yeah. all type of shit. Like, I'm trying to figure out, yeah, make a perfect shit. sound. Yeah. whole time, everybody that I come in contact yeah, with, like, with yeah, it. you do. 
you do some great work, bro. Yeah. So now I got the confidence. Yeah. And now it's like, we gonna take off now. That shit different. Yeah, so what made you like, nigga, get to, get out of that motherfucking, uh, I don't want to pay niggas for feature shit. Like, I don't know, because I wanted to do it by myself. I think yeah. I'm like, I'm a real humble guy. Yeah. But then I always wanted to make it on my own. I don't want to have to owe nobody for yeah, nothing. Nigga, nobody looking at me like me you and shit. Yeah. yeah, like, I don't, I ain't never, I never, I don't even want to deal. Yeah. Like, I'm building, like, I got an uh, entertainment business called yeah. Broken Chains Entertainment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You feel me? Shit. So, I got that entertainment business because I want to be the one that's in charge. Like, yeah. I want to control my own money and my own destiny. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. why I ain't want to have to rely and be like, oh, I had to get him on the song. Yeah. So, this nigga got me out of that. Yeah. He paid Polo for a feature. Yeah. I was like, oh, yeah, this something different. That's the best first nigga you pay for a feature. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, what's that, what's that one song, um... Cause y'all did a video for it, right? Yup, High Hopes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit hard yeah, too. Y'all yeah. niggas both went in on that Bruh, shit, though. That was like, my that was my first video. Video was hard, time. everything. He did a feature first. Then I don't know if it was the next weekend. I paid for a feature with Polo. Yeah. Then we both did our videos the next weekend yeah. with Bo. And then we locked in. That Polo, one of my best friends, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. After that, we ain't never left each other's sight. Like we with each other. Me and uh, Polo going to do a closed event at the uh, Piston Stadium today. Oh like, shit! Yeah, yeah, a little season. So like, but, shit, crazy. It and, just went up. But shit, when you and then when you grow up, it be funny, dog. Cause like growing up, you be thinking like you ain't gonna fuck with your day one niggas. Once you get mm -hmm. a certain age, you can't find no new nigga. Yeah. You, you know what I'm saying? Cool with and shit. But yeah. that shit, nigga, ain't like that. Like sometimes like you can vibe with nigga. Like damn, you cool yeah, ass yeah, nigga, it's, dog. It's like, too many people in the world for you. Like it's just all about like how genuine you is. You feel me? For sure. Like, yeah. Like you gotta have a conversation with everybody. Like, man, you can't just pass up on somebody just because of how they look. Hell That's yeah. prejudice. That's what. Hell Whole yeah. time you probably nigga probably living the same life as you. <laughs> you yeah, don't even sure. know. Hell but now y'all yeah. looking at it, and that's that's another thing I always say. Like, bro, I really be thinking on some deep shit. Like, uh, like America made us look at each other like that. Hell like, yeah. say we in a gas station. Like you just said, sure. I thought think about getting caught up in the gas station. Yeah. Walking to a gas station is a nigga looking like this. Yeah. He don't know what's on his mind. What he been through. He might be going through something just like you going hell through something. Yeah. He nigga don't even want to do that, bro. He yeah. just hungry. He just sick. He, for sure. You know, yeah. shit like that, bro. You give some, give people a chance. No, for no? sure. And that was, that was, nigga, I had that problem, like, reading niggas without knowing motherfuckers. Like, oh, that yeah. nigga look corny, or that nigga, I don't yeah. fuck with that nigga. But then, but damn, that nigga was cool as hell. Yeah, like, cool as fuck. You know what I'm saying? All the time. That's yeah. where I go. That's what my mind stay every time I pop out and I go outside. Like, yeah. all right, networking is everything. Just be genuine. Yeah. Like, a lot of people, like, I'd rather you know my character before you know my skills and my for talents. Sure. Yeah, Judge yeah. me off of who I am, for real. Like, then later on, if I needed your help or your yeah. advice, you're going to say, oh, he's a good guy. Why yeah, not yeah. help Because yeah. you know I will help you. Yeah, for sure. Like, y'all y'all ain't hear my music before I met y'all. Yeah. We just knew we was good people, and we started linking like yeah. that. Like, it was big. No, it's crazy you saying that shit about networking, because usually niggas, niggas hate helping niggas because you don't want to see that person take off before you. No, that ain't you it. You feel me? Like, like, even with you, though, you and Polo, when he came out here, like, dog, it's my nigga, he about to blow. Yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Now you and this bitch chilling, like, right. kicking it, got your tape and shit. Like, you thought that, you think that that connection with him kind of, like, opened a little bit of doors, like, yeah, as far as, like, definitely did. some niggas seeing who, what you're doing did. shit. Because when, when we went, I don't know, the first thing we did, I can't remember, bro. Yeah. He asked, oh, yeah, he did a uh, video with my man, Squapo Blue. Right. And he just called us And he asked us To just come out Like yeah. we ain't, He just wanted us To come out Be in the video Like we just met him Like yeah. he already knew him Cause they both from Ipsy Okay I just met him But he called my phone Was like yeah My man's about to shoot a video Y'all wanna come out We went to the city yeah. Got in the video with him Like and it was fun bro it was yeah. just Good sure. time bro Like when he showed up It's just about being genuine When he showed up To the video shoot We shot that in my hood On my block yeah. I hopes Then was all my uncles And my cousins yeah, yeah, You yeah. see you remember that video right? Yeah, that was yeah. my, he came by himself bro And I, I said make sure you good yeah. And that was just me being real Real, bro. Ain't yeah. nothing, you know, now it's different. Yeah, so yeah. now my family like his family. For sure. And his people like my people. It's different. That's man. how it should be, dog. That's how it should be, dog. But yeah. like I said, he could have been like, nigga, looked at you as a nigga doing music. Like, man, fuck it. I ain't about yeah, to. Yeah, you feel you me? You know what I'm saying? Get a nigga no layup. Yeah. Or you, you know what I'm saying? Same way yeah. and shit. Because niggas hate to see other niggas shine. It's funny. We was talking about this shit as far as like niggas on Instagram. Niggas just be. Niggas be funny, dog. Niggas weirdos for yeah, real. Like, yeah. I heard you saying something earlier. Was you live or something? Or you said you had a video and you said somebody was talking about, yeah, nigga, stop tagging me. And oh, shit, yeah, bro. yeah. Hell That's yeah. weird. Dude, you a weird nigga I'll for tell that. you who it was afterwards, dog. But that like... shit weird for me. <laughs> now, so when you said that, I was just on my way here listening to that. I said, them the type of niggas I don't like because that's the type of nigga that think he better than everybody and yeah. you think like a nigga don't need you yeah. for clout bro like, for sure and like I said nigga and I, I see if I'm like alright nigga if I tag you in everything you got yeah. you know what I'm saying a platform and shit but I keep on asking you like dog put me on put me on put me on mm -hmm. you might get tired of that shit yeah. but I'm just tagging niggas in the city just so they can see like you share you share if you don't you don't if you follow you follow I don't give a fuck like nigga I ain't about to bet nobody to motherfucker put my shit
anybody tag me or something, I'm just gonna put it up. Like, why yeah. not? Yeah, like, nigga, it, dog, it ain't gonna hurt you. Bro. What's gonna hurt? <laughs> yeah. Ooh, it ain't it, gonna, it ain't or, gonna or, hurt. Or you bad, dog. That shit funny. That shit dope. Uh, like, I like this. Ain't shit. nobody gonna. Uh, what you don't want nobody to make your name look bad? You only you can make your name look yeah. bad. Yeah. Like, like I always go by a nigga best podcast in the city. But if I see another podcast I fuck with. I mean, hey man, come, you wanna come on show? You wanna talk? Yeah. Nigga, I'll post your shit, whatever. Yeah. Nigga, yeah, I don't shit. give a fuck. If your shit blow up, nigga, whatever, nigga. Just, yeah. Your shit blow up. Yeah. I'll be like, hey, that nigga's on my shit, cuz. Like, yeah. He's on my That's shit. okay. That's <laughs> not, ain't nothing wrong with that. Like, that's that's the best thing, bro. I, just connecting. Yeah. Niggas don't wanna connect with everybody, bro. Like, Duh. work. Nigga, yeah, yeah niggas be. And I can say, a lot of times, niggas be like bros, bro. Like, for real. Like, it be niggas who niggas love in the city, but nigga, real talk. Sometimes you don't wanna meet niggas that you might think that you would like or fuck with because. They real shit come out. Yeah. That's like nigga seeing somebody you look up to as an artist or a, a hooper or something. I like, don't. I think it's real life a hoe. Like yeah. I, I don't even like him no more. I can't watch right. the basketball games no more. Like shit ain't the same. <laughs> like this nigga a bitch for real. Like nigga like for real, dog. So I remember nigga I had that experience with. Uh, <laughs> we talking about this shit, nigga. Chopper from the band. Mm. When I was doing music, bro, I remember I was tagging niggas on uh, on Twitter, mm. at niggas and shit, like with my with my link. Yeah. Nigga made a, uh, a post or well, a tweet right after, like niggas act like I got a label. I ain't about to sign niggas and shit. So I'm like, cause nigga, talk about me, nigga. So I, like, hey, bro, I I know you ain't got no deal, bro. You ain't been signed, right? Nigga, I'm just sharing, I'm just sharing my music because I follow you, nigga. Like that's it. Crazy, so yeah, man. that nigga made me. Now I stopped listening to Chopper, nigga. I don't know that nigga. <laughs> you different now. Hell yeah. You showed your, you showed your up. Yeah. <laughs> So with you, Crazy. bro, you, you doing music and shit, dog. Like, like you remember you said that first time in the studio that was in your man's basement and shit. Like, yeah. nigga, how how good or bad your your uh, your session was? Like, a lot of times we be in the crib rehearsing, that shit don't sound the same when you recorded. Yeah. Was your, how was your shit? Was your shit bad? Or was it like it came when out was, good? When we was kid. Like when you yeah first time recording in the studio period. Uh, uh, I think back then we thought it was great. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, like, and we even did shows where people really did fuck with it, but not as being grown. We yeah. was like, you know, I, don't. Yeah. I look at it, he still love that shit. Oh, I'll hard. just be like, no, nah, this shit ain't it. <laughs> he be like, bro, you tripping, that shit was hard. Yeah, and he saw back then, you, you'd be like, nigga, like, redo it now, shit that might yeah. be. I probably we could, but um, why? <laughs> Leave it where it's at. Yeah. <laughs> now outside of uh, Casamigos, bro, what what you need in the studio, nigga? Like some food. Bro, stuff? I don't even be drinking that much no more. Oh, for real? Yeah, I oh, still you drink you wanna... some tequila sometimes. Yeah, you said you on a cleanse, right? No, that shit died like a little while, a couple weeks ago. <laughs> I still, I'm about to go back to it though. Like that wedding is over with. Yeah. And I don't think I got too much big shit coming up, but I, I was doing shows like, uh. Without alcohol, and yeah. I was still feeling, I was good, bro. Like, That's why you, I'm like, I don't need it, bro. Yeah, did you feel better, though? Like, not drinking? Like, did you Man, feel better? what? Yeah. <laughs> See how big I am? <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, having, without having liquor on you like that, bro, drinking constantly how I was drinking, bro, yeah, that shit feel way better. Y'all niggas got in that one day. We Man, we was fried, and we Man. had just woke up. And then y'all like, told me we were drinking some more and bro. shit, dog. And we did. <laughs> that shit was bad. Like, we was on a binge, hey, man, bro, hey, having fun. I was going to talk shit to both of y'all, dog. Y'all niggas was, was, was posting workout videos for a good two weeks, nigga. What happened to that shit? <laughs> <laughs> nigga, body start hating. And we're still drinking. That's what I'm saying. All that, bro. I want to get back to all that. No, because, though, that's, that's, you talking about having Drinking a, is a big, that drinking and partying takes a big toll on your body, bro. Yeah. And I realized that. Yeah. Like, nigga, wake up aching, head hurting, nigga, all type of nigga, shit. You don't want to do nothing no more. Yeah, and working out, bro, is is, is a mental game, bro. Because, yeah. like, your body, like, nigga, I don't like doing this shit. Yeah. Like, nigga, you got to be really committed to to a diet and working out those two huh? things that might be harder than motherfucking being faithful dog huh? <laughs> for real <laughs> for real a diet working out hand in hand like mental all type of shit bro nigga, that shit hard cleansing nigga. your body like when you drink and smoke and putting too much toxins in your body it slow you down it's fucking with your blood yeah. how it's flowing to your brain so you think in a different way like all for that sure. shit is important so when I did go on that 30 days bro I was doing good I'm like damn I'm doing this like yeah. that I uh, performed that backwards and bonfire yeah. off Hell that yeah. like just because that day when I said I wasn't drinking no more I went to I had went to do two showcases yeah. And I won second place, both of them, right? Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. like, they love the music. Yeah. It was the crowd. Yeah, I mean, Third one, I set that yeah. motherfucker up. So perfect. Yeah. <laughs> Brought everybody out. We yeah, won yeah. that bitch. Went crazy. Yeah, yeah. Dog, yeah. but nigga, in a way, though, that's kind of like, I don't know. But they, they want that crowd participation so they get that money. Yeah. Because, you know, Plus, you, you bring yeah. people to buy them tickets and yeah, stuff like that. And then you get to see how, dope, how many people like, react with yeah. your music, you know? But if you dope and the nigga judging, like, dog, that nigga, he doper than that person who got the bigger crowd, nigga, he should win. It's different, though. Yeah, because they want to see, like, 
Shit, like like you said, who it's all about who gonna bring the money out now? Cause sure. you know a label not even looking at you unless you got a following. No oh more. yeah, hell yeah. That shit is all that's about. That's why the whole A and R trying to get a nigga right is that shit yeah, dead. That shit dead. Ain't no artist yourself. development no more. Hell no. Nah. You got to be developed already. You already gotta have. You already gotta be out there. Cause that's more. They gotta huh? do more work if you not. Yeah, they you know don't wanna do no work. They put it all in your hands. Cause hand. you think about nigga like Big Sean, that nigga he been popping, but niggas didn't know about him cause they that nigga was just. On good music And they was just Grooming that nigga up Getting it right Yeah They don't do that no more No oh, hell no They don't fuck with you like that dog. That's too much money They gotta put into you nigga For real Yo nigga Hey dog We all singing the motherfucking Shower and shit dog We sound good as hell nigga When you discover You had like a voice You could actually sing Like nigga I could, do, I could sing Like I thought I could sing Nigga but I couldn't sing Um <laughs> I was in the choir In church I was a little kid And you knew you could sing And then? Kimberly Wood said Yeah she was the minister there Yeah That's like my auntie I love her to death yeah. I'm talking about the, One of the greatest voices I ever heard Used to have me up there like So I was a kid A little kid choir bro And I just yeah. stepped to the mic And I can They said I got a voice And then I started realizing I really 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 could sing Yeah And then My great My great great granddaddy He passed when he was 101 years old oh, man, His 100th birthday I sung for him on his For his birthday at the church Like yeah. that was dope yeah, Like yeah, stuff yeah. like that That's what let me know I could sing yeah. And then the rapping and stuff That was just me Being at school Playing around at the desk yeah. That came in But the singing it, it definitely came From the church For sure for sure When you started using that jump for your superpowers <laughs> 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 in high school If I could say anything I'd be in that bitch Like the video In high school Them talent shows I'm like Watch how I kill them <laughs> like, Oh I leave it with me In college It was even worse I told you Yeah I'm about to say Yeah you said You did the whole college. The motherfucking ass And shit yeah. though Like like oh. I always knew Like that was yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Fuck you but I can't even do it nigga. Like, Bumble cock Like <laughs> They blow like, like Diddy Clyde Why <laughs> Don't say nothing. Hell yeah, nigga. Fucking them up. So that nigga coming with the motherfucking Jamaica ass and ain't singing this shit, dog. That was a cheat code, nigga. I remember in Ohio with my uh my cousin, his cousin. Now I'm in the bitch talking to the chicken. This nigga come like Chris Brown just singing. I'm like, damn, he ain't stole the bitch from me and shit, dog. Right. Just cause nigga sing, nigga. I mean, I was in the mirror trying to just practice this shit, nigga. Trying to yeah. get a voice, nigga. Like, damn, I guess I can't sing. I think I found it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hey, found that my bitch, voice. Put your, put your hand right here, nigga. Trying to, <laughs> <laughs> trying to get me if I do this and shit, dog. Yeah, pressure points. <laughs> what's your, what, what's your, what, what's your go-to? Like, what's the song, nigga? You ever use the song, nigga? Like, I'm gonna sing this shit to her ass. Like, with me, nigga, if I could sing it, it'd be that, uh, that Usher, you remind me, that's the first song I learned, nigga, like, word mm. for word, bro. This is an original song me and my brother uh, did. Oh, y'all had a panty song already, ready? Yeah. Just to... <laughs> that song nasty, too. Yeah. <laughs> that's the one, though, every time. Yeah. Uh -huh. And that should be working. How, how, what's your percentage? I don't know. Like, <laughs> my wins and losses, nigga? <laughs> yeah. For sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Now, if you got laid right now, nigga, I, I, I want to ask more questions about that shit. You good. Because, like, hold on, nigga, you, you whole ass nigga. <laughs> Yeah, I already noticed the first podcast we was talking like this, you remember? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Baby yeah. mama's already seen that. Yeah. <laughs> now, you just, uh, you just put out EP, bro. Yeah, September yeah. motherfucking first, man. Yeah. It's still fresh. No restraints, dog. Mm -hmm. Like, how you come up with the title and shit, dog? And uh, I know it's only been a few days, but shit, what's the, what's the response been like? It's been good, bro. It's been great, man. People been calling me left and right. Yeah. Like, bro, like, the whole setup was sweet. It's powerful. Like, it's just slide. It's on. This a real fun one, bro. Yeah. Like, it's fun. There's some stuff you can party to. Yeah, for sure. Like, yeah, everything, yeah. like, be on the boat with. Like, yeah. that's how big the album is. No restraints. I don't... I think I was just in the studio. I already know I want... I got Broken Chains Entertainment. So, Broken Chains, that come from uh, me wanting to break chains, like, in our community. For like, sure. Like, poverty... Yeah. Abuse, uh, being broke, like all type of stuff. You feel me? Yeah. When I thought about it, no restraints. I only named it like that because of uh, the intro. Yeah. You, Suicide Squad. Yeah. Seen that? Yep. Uh, with uh, Will, Will, Will Smith. Smith. Yeah. He remember they wanted to see how he could shoot and everything. Yeah. Yeah, and yeah, I yeah. heard him say he was like, no restraints, and they took him out. Let me see what you can do. Oh yeah. They yeah, said yeah, you never. Yeah. yeah. They said you never. Said you never missed a shot. Prove it. Yeah. So I, it's proven, cause like you know, you got y'all know how long people been telling me to put out a tape. Yeah. Like, and that's what I was gonna say, bro. Like a lot of times, like what was it? Cause you said that, like, would you making beats? It took you a while to get that confidence and thinking that like, niggas might not think it's man. straight. But the same shit with the music too. Uh, yeah, cause I've been, bro. I've been doing this forever. Even when I was in college, I had my studio set up in there, yeah. in my dorm room and everything. And then yeah. everybody will listen to me. I go on stage. I did a lot of open mic nights i used to take 
a motherfucking like we'd take like so I was in choir and I knew a lot of people in bands so that played sax and flute and drums yeah. and shit, piano, keyboard. Yeah. And so we'd go to this it's the place called The Taste in Trotwood, Ohio. Mm-hmm. A black owned restaurant. Set up a whole band. I bro, I be making business calls as in college. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, I'm trying to come with y'all to pay me there. Make had them pay me yeah. to come, you know. So people would look around the campus, they'd be like, bro, when you going to do a tape? When you going to do a tape? We want to hear yeah, your music. You want to hear your music. That shit. And I'm like, bro, they are, they've been telling me I ain't, I ain't missed it. Every time yeah. I do a new song or something, somebody listen to it, they love it. So I'm like, bro, that's why I made it like that. And that yeah. was perfect. Yeah. I was just on YouTube. I was looking through some shit. I'm like, let me see this scene right here. And looked yeah. at it. I'm like, man, that's perfect. It's all like me. Hell yeah, <laughs> hell yeah. They, wanna, sure. you want, they say they want to, I want to see what he can do. Like, yeah. I want to show y'all what I really can do. How good. Yeah, like I got that's why shit. it's a little mix and shit. Next one, it probably be all singing. Like, yeah. I can do some crazy shit so and that's when you're gonna get to your, your alter ego and then shit yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna turn them up like turn them all the way up bro yeah so i think it's like with this one like i know you just dropped this shit on the mm-hmm. first whatever a few days and shit like like you gonna sit on this shit for a long minute until mm-hmm. you drop the next project bro, you don't understand before i dropped it i said i wanted in the next two weeks i wanted to have something else because yeah. i got so much stuff already on back order I bet. Hell like yeah. i only put six songs on there yeah i can do that like 10 more times before the end of the year. Man. And I, like, I want to do it like that. And instead of like y'all niggas be in the studio project. a lot, too. Yeah, bro. We damn near living that motherfucker. Yeah. You, uh, what's that? Because y'all got a lot of songs, and like, even on his project, your that project, you and Polo, y'all, 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 y'all got dude, a lot of shit. In there, bro. Y'all ever thought about doing like a, uh, yep. a project together? Yeah, we definitely going to do that. Right, for sure, for sure. Mm-hmm. Me and him got one we about to do, too. Man. But this is my best friend. This Cruddy Man. And we Pretty got man. so much stuff, yeah. Gonna, yeah, so he gonna be, he gonna get to come back, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah. For real, like we got some stuff, bro. We got one. Oh. Yeah, I follow you on the ground. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What's the, yeah, what's the one? Um, yeah. the tape we said we was gonna do the uh Craig and Day Day. Yeah. <laughs> this no, shit crazy. Like, that bitch gonna be so crazy, yeah, yeah. bro. No, but y'all got, no, you gotta do that shit, bro. Cause you yeah. is like y'all say, I ain't, I ain't no hate nigga. Like you talented, bro. Like Appreciate you, you dope for real. Looking. Like Look. listen to the shit. Like once you had left the show with Polo a day, I went back and listened. To, to some shit then the shit that you had on his shit like oh that nigga street like yeah, good looking, I was gonna bro. say that shit I was gonna inbox your cup when you dropping nigga like yeah. fuck going on good looking yo it's coming bro we trying to do we got a few more videos we still ain't dropped that we still got yeah some we just shot and we about to shoot some more this week yeah. all type of stuff bro. I wasn't gonna say how long it took you took you to write this EP but shit it's like this some shit that you already had in the tuck yeah uh let me see most of that stuff is like let me look at it real quick. Most of the stuff that's on there is stuff that we just was doing. Like, yeah. All right, so it got to a point after y- y'all seen me where I wasn't writing no more. Yeah. My boy Chuck Jordan, he an artist. He looked at me. He was like, when you second guess, like, all right, when you freestyling or when you about to go in there, if you second guess what you was about to say first, yeah. that's you, like, second guessing God. Like, yeah. that's mentally what you was about to say. Most of this stuff started because of that. Yeah. So, like, the intro, Canary, we was at a workshop. Yeah. That's yeah, I like that shit too. Good looking. That's um my boy Fuego. He a uh, producer yeah. that work uh, out there. His catalog so long, bro. Yeah. He made that beat and I did that hook. Polo came in, then I said Juan got to be on this. Juan, he from Ipsy. Yeah. He probably the hardest writer I know, bro. Yeah, but I said you got him on on, on, on like what, yeah. three, three songs, two, right? Two, two. Yeah. That and roll. Yeah. Uh, so that one we just we came up with that one. That was real slick. Ice Ice Baby, my brother from Chicago, came here. Yeah. And you know, we started, we just pulled up a beat and we started making that. For sure. And I was like, Ice Ice Baby, that's going to sound familiar. That's going to be catchy. Yeah, 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 going to think about it like, Ice Ice Baby. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Uh, comfortable, I made that beat. So this one of them nights. I was about to say, like, what, I know you made a beat on this Yeah, video. Comfortable, that was one of them long nights. So it got to a point where I stopped writing, right? Yeah. I get in the studio. I'd be drinking. I'd make a beat. And I stay there till six, seven in yeah. the morning, sometimes noon, and bros there with me. Mm-hmm. So I make the beat, I go in there, freestyle on it, it's perfect, yeah. and we just make shit like that. So that's where most of it come from. Yeah. Uh, comfortable, I made that one. Bags ain't free, I made that beat. Dog, that's that's one of my favorite ones, low key. Bags that's ain't free. Yeah, I fuck with that. Dog. Looking. I fuck with that. <laughs> that's one of the older ones. That's one of the first. Matter of fact, that's the first one I did freestyling yeah. without. And my cousin was here. My cousin go to Morehouse, yeah. and he was here with me, and he was sitting in the studio. That was the first night. I was like, I'm yeah. gonna just see what happened. Yeah. Bags ain't free. Damn, that's crazy. So now what, I think about it, that's the first one I did, yeah. like organically. Huh, so with that song, nigga, like what you what you saying? Like you saying like uh, like uh, you saying like a bitch can't. Think like ain't shit free or like, yeah, like, like this bags. is my chick maybe or something like uh or you gotta do something to let get me this. think so when we was first when we was initially writing it we was trying to write something like we was like punching in so i didn't write yeah. i was freestyling as okay. i went he's yeah. like all right but i think you say this blah 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 yeah. and we was putting it together it's just like 
Shit, the bags ain't free. Yeah, like, you can't get yeah. nothing for free. Like, I can't get it for free. <laughs> you ain't gonna <laughs> give me sure. nothing for free. Like, Hell yeah. You just like me. Yeah. So, so yeah. we're gonna act the same way. We're gonna play that same role. Hell yeah. They got yeah. me low key jealous. Niggas that can sing too, though. Yeah. I mean, that bitch like, damn. <laughs> Don't be, bro. Because yeah. everybody can sing. No, everybody singing, can learn how to sing. But bro. singing is, to me, though, I, I listen to an RB album before I listen to a rap album. Yeah. Because I don't know. It's just like, to me, like, it'd be more good RB. Uh, uh, albums than rap. A lot of times, rap albums disappoint me, bro. Like, yeah. I'm like man, what the fuck, dog? Like, I was nigga, I had high hopes, nigga. Like, yeah. like this year, nigga, as far as niggas dropping albums, nigga, only one I really listened to full through was like J Cole shit. Man, that's my favorite artist. Yeah, Tyler the Creator had a good one, and Nas. Yeah. Other than that, like niggas been having like some. They got some substance though. Yeah. All three of them, they make shit. With like substance. niggas be sleeping on Tyler. Like that nigga, he might be a weirdo, yeah, but he that weird, nigga but he makes can rap. Some, nigga. That, that nigga makes some good ass music, and that nigga be on his production side too. That be some of the best music. Be the weirdest nigga. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I don't mind being weird. Fuck <laughs> y'all. Yeah. I don't care about what y'all think. That nigga shit y'all hard. still gonna like my music? For sure. Hell yeah. Weird all. That nigga fuck. That nigga it. real weird. That nigga. <laughs> me, 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 <laughs> no, that nigga weird as fuck. You don't be gay or nothing. No. We was talking about the last nigga. Like, is he gay? Like, I think. Uh, you don't never know. That nigga was standing. He stared nigga in the eyes on the podcast. Was saying some crazy shit. Remember when, uh, <laughs> when the uh, verses about he's some old nigga Jay kids turn him on nigga by the way he uh, killed him. I ain't see that. Dipset. That no. nigga was in the comments like, dog, I'm getting. Oh, I know he did, bro. I never knew that. Yes, dog. <laughs> that nigga crazy, yeah, bro. Yeah, that's what I say. That nigga that's just like that's just like that white humor, bro. Yeah, he probably grew up with some white. He, people. That's he, he definitely is. probably grew up with some, with some white motherfuckers, dog. Yeah. Man. So you already know, dog. We got this shit, man. Talk about the bars, man. Mm. Take little pieces of shit that you might say on this song or that oh, song. It'd be some funny shit, dog. Yeah. So you got this song, nigga. Uh, you and Paul did this shit four for four. Mm -hmm. You said, "Let me be. I should never eat it." <laughs> 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 Let me beat it. I should never yeah. eat it. <laughs> like that. Fill up. <laughs> big he big demon. Too, no, that's crazy. So nigga, with that shit, dog, you already know, nigga. And you know this podcast, dog. We crack, we crack jokes, dog. And have you ever ate some box, nigga? But then she like, nigga, I, I change my mind on you smashing. <laughs> yeah. Dog. Just did me like that. Nah, I never talked to her again. <laughs> Cause I felt like you ho. You wanna fight nigga that shit? Yeah, like damn, she made me look like a simple nigga. <laughs> Oh, nigga go. Me, nigga feel used oh, go. Feel she used me. It was like, uh-uh, boy. No. <laughs> That's the baby's lunch. <laughs> no. Boy, you bogus, girl. No, so with that shit, because with that shit, some chicks... You never treat me like that again. Yeah, because some chicks, <laughs> nigga, don't deserve that, 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 that treatment. Nigga, you going straight to the motherfucking beat down. Uh -huh. But I was like, like, when you were in a relationship with somebody, nigga, I told... I'm like nigga, we like unless it's a quickie, nigga. You got, you got a motherfucking pregame that shit, yeah, nigga. Like for real, for real, nigga. Pregame for, for sure, yeah. nigga. Without the pregame, you in that bitch like nigga. Like, but you can't just be eating everything anyway. No, like, you can't. You sick. can't, dog. You can't, dog. Yeah. You can't, nigga. That's nigga. why I said that. Fuck around, have That's some. That's for motherfucker. the ones I ain't gonna eat. Yeah. That shit. Now let me ask you this, nigga. This, this uh, like you say, like you can't eat all box, nigga. Yeah. But can you smash all box? No. <laughs> like, Hell no. Because I mean, it, it, it could be a chick that like nigga like no, nah, she looks stink, but desperate times. Mm. <laughs> I mean, sometimes it be like that, but yeah. like sober mind, knowing yeah. like no that shit look like it's no, no, yeah. we're not doing that. We gonna do no shit like hell that. yeah, duh. So on that one, uh, on, I, on, I think this was um, well, let's get rich. That's the these bags oh, aren't free, yeah. right? That's gonna, no, like, hold on, let's get rich or bags ain't free. Oh no, let's get rich. You let's said, get rich. That's gonna be the number one song. Yeah, you I said uh, I could tell you been running from uh for, for some heartache and heartbreak. Yeah, like nigga, have you ever been with a chick or you could have been like nigga? The person like getting out of a relationship that's scarred and shit, mm -hmm. but you trying to change it, but you try, you see that like nigga like she fucked up from that last yeah. one like this ain't gonna work. Yeah. You gonna be in a situation to like the that? Point, yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, like to nigga, the point where she barely wanna fuck with a nigga because yeah, she yeah. been yeah. Like she like you. That's but, why I made that song. Yeah, every time she but every time she getting deep, she pull away like yeah. oh, I remember what Tyrone did. Yeah, like you know what I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, that's my song. Oh, that's my song, dog. <laughs> that's the number one song, Tyrone bro. Tyrone ain't shit, dog. <laughs> dog, fuck it. For real. Hell. But no, that's I be real, like though. that, bro. Like, but that be I think. <laughs> I think that, that thing look like dog. You fucked up. <laughs> you know you fucked up, right? <laughs> no, but I think nigga like dog. That be like most hoes will get with a nigga quick, dog. Even sometimes niggas will do that shit. Get with in that relationship too quick, and mm -hmm. you still got that last relationship in your mind. Mm -hmm. And that shit about to carry over to this next one, yeah. and then it's about to fuck the whole little shit. Up. It could be, it could be a good vibe, but you fucked up because what what Tyrone did, man. Yep. Tyrone, nigga. Boy, yeah. Ty Ron, nigga. Duh, yeah. And then you say uh, on this one, I had convo with my ex. She say she proud, of, she proud of me on road. Damn. How many times, nigga? Like that shit pissed me off, bro. Like when you fuck with a bitch and she ain't broke up with you, but then 
She gonna congratulate you on some good shit. Like I ain't gonna lie. So that's what that was one of my bro. He be pulling out some shit. He could have said the little fun bar. <laughs> <laughs> he, wanna pick, he picked the deepest ones. So right before I wrote that song, oh, Juan no. made that song, bro. I wanted to get on it. This yeah. probably that's the first song me and Juan ever did together. When yeah. I say he the coldest writer, he wrote his shit in three minutes. Yeah. And I'm like, damn, I can't keep up with this nigga. And yeah. then somebody told me just do your dance. Yeah. So I was writing it in a couple days. So a couple days before that, my baby mama had told me she was like, I'm proud of you. Yeah. And I'm like, now nah, you proud of me? <laughs> Like, I was mad. Like, I ain't gonna lie. I was kind of sweaty. I'm like, now nah, you proud. Like, because I told you she one of the coldest singers I know. Yeah, for sure. So, when I'm out, my studio is in the basement, yeah. I used to be, I'd be like, come here, come do this real quick. For She'd sure. be like, all right, I'm doing something, brother. Yeah. I'm used to mad. Like, girl, damn. Yeah. We got, we got, we got had the coldest, the greatest music ever. Yeah, so, yeah. when she said that, I wrote that part, being yeah. spiteful. Yeah. Now she don't even care. Like, she was at the back of Woods and Brown Fighters. When I said that part on stage, yeah. she was in that motherfucker, like, hey, <laughs> you talking about me yeah. type shit. Yeah, you feel yeah. That shit was real as fuck, though. No, for sure. All, Love my baby mama and my kids, so yeah. that was yeah. That's what that was. Yeah, but can't with, with, uh, having like a baby mama, nigga. I got one. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I got a current girl right now, and shit, a wife and shit. Cause she hit me, said, "Girl, she gonna get mad." Yeah. But uh, yeah, <laughs> can you be cool? With, like, how long do it take y'all to build that shit? That y'all can be cool and shit. Cause with me and his mom, I'm like, man, fuck her off the rip. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It took me a while to be like, man, fuck it. We ain't together. Like, ain't no point in having this beef and shit. We just ain't together. Yeah. Like, how long it take y'all to, be, to get that shit right? Or was it like... It, it, never, ain't, it ain't never been like that for me and her. Like, yeah, y'all like we that cool. cool. Like, yeah, we that cool. Like, yeah. And our kids are everything. My son seven, my daughter too. Like, yeah. ain't like, we are getting... Like, shit, it'll be times where feelings will be hurt sometimes. But it's, it's never going to last long. For sure. Especially when you're doing what you're supposed to be doing. And that yeah, same yeah. love is always there no matter when we ain't together. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. That shit different. Hell yeah. But yeah. it ain't never been like... Oh, I'm about to put you in child support. Nothing. She ain't never like even thought of nothing yeah. like that. Now, when you get into another relationship, dude, it'd be like, do you explain to her like, hey, me, my, my, my kids, mom, we cool. Like, ain't no beef. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. cause some, some chicks to come into that situation and be jealous off the rip. Like, oh, yeah. I know he's still fucking. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause that's baby mom and you know what I'm saying, baby dad and shit. Most of the times, niggas in relationship be thinking like, oh yeah, they still fucking around because. Mm-hmm. Shit, that's your per- first person you had a kid with, so yeah. you kind of always got motherfucking. Yeah, motherfucker be like, that's my forever. Yeah, like nigga, whatever. Like, <laughs> shit, crazy. Whatever, like, did you have to like kind of tell her it, it ain't this, like, or if, if you is in a relationship, if you ain't, do you gotta tell that next person like this ain't that, like we just cool. You yeah, know? it gotta be like you gotta have that conversation, like yeah. let them know like what it is for real. Yeah. Me? yeah, but you gotta they gotta know like for for a fact, like I you would never be able. To ever be able to disrespect my baby mama. Yeah, for sure. Because yeah. that's a reflection of my kids. Yeah. If my baby mama, if her feelings are hurt, yeah. my kids' feelings going to be hurt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. My, my kids show a lot of empathy. Yeah. So they, it's understanding. Like, if my baby mama is crying, they can be like, Mama, what's yeah. wrong? Is you good? Yeah. So it's never a reason, like, I be hating that. Like, don't make no, I be hating, like, posts and Instagram posts. Sure. You know yeah. she's going to see it. Yeah. That she hit me upset. That shit weak, upset. Bro. And I be like, Damn, no, you can't do that shit. Like, no, that's you can't. Because yeah. my kids, that reflect on my kids. For my sure. kids. Should never had to feel like that. Yeah, so no, that's that shit did. I'd drop you in a heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. If you hurt no. my baby mama feelings, yeah, cause my cause that's you, hurt yeah, my kids. You fucking my kids. So yeah. So you gotta be conscious and that gotta be knowledgeable that you can't fuck with her no matter what. Yeah, for sure. You and know? you just gotta be on some grown shit though. Yeah, like, nigga, grown, like, don't be a kid. Yeah. I hate kid shit. Bro. Don't be posting shit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, like, I just hate Don't be niggas. posting shit. Yeah. Like, <laughs> <laughs> that shit annoying. That's yeah, childish, yeah. bro. Cause nigga, don't me, nobody like wanna know. Said, nigga, me and my wife, nigga, we kicked it with my, my son, mom, nigga, and her husband, nigga, like, it's what it is, it is. nigga. Like, it, Hey, I don't want her. We ain't fucking, so nigga, yeah. like, we just, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It ain't nothing to be even stressing about, bro. Like, for real, for real, for real dog. That's real shit. So, shit, nigga, you, you mentioned it, bro. You got kids, man. Mm-hmm. You say it off camera, nigga, shit didn't change and shit, dog. Yeah. You got some additions to go on the way, dog. Yeah. Like, like you uh, being a father, bro, how hard, it, or if it ain't hard, nigga, to balance being a dad, being a good parent and shit, and then still chasing your dreams and making sure, like, the two don't. You know what I'm saying? Mess up your time being spent with your kids and shit. So sometimes, so I got my two kids, yeah. Christopher and Kelly, right? And then I got two additionals. I got a new baby mom. She having twins. Yeah. But so sometimes, like, I'm my kids stay real close to me. Like, we all close. For you sure. feel me? Sometimes I be sick when I'm out so much. Like, yeah. I be sick to my stomach. Like, like damn, damn, what yeah. am I missing right now? But I know for a fact, like, I'm doing this for them. Because yeah, I don't want to have to, I want to be able to die tomorrow and they have something. Yeah. Like, know that your daddy was doing something real. Yeah, yeah. Like, because, shit, I never set eyes on my dad. You yeah, feel me? Yeah, so yeah. that means he ain't never do enough for me to be like, even when he gone, yeah, I'm, I'm still straight. Yeah, you feel yeah, me? Yeah. I want my kids to be straight. I told 
I told bro the other day my number is a billion. Yeah. A billion dollars. Hell yeah. I wanna be that big. I'm gonna be that big. Yeah, don't sure change yeah. yourself. Shit. So I want that for my kids. So when my son upset or something, he ain't never gotta ask nobody for nothing. Cause yeah. he's already there. Man. My facts. daddy wants to go do it or go get it yourself. Hell yeah. Don't ask nobody like like exactly. My my example. Just like I'm going to get it myself. Yeah. So I ain't gotta ask nobody when I want it, I'm gonna go get it. Yeah. Or I could have had it, <laughs> but I want my son to have those two decisions. Yeah. Go get it yourself, no matter what. Yeah. And look, man, my family, they, my kids know what I'm doing. Man. My son to tell you every day, my dad's a rapper, yeah. my mom's a singer, yeah. and I'm a rapper and a singer. Yeah, and he's sweet sure. with it, too. Yeah. Playing yeah. piano and everything, he's seven. Yeah, yeah. teach him so, young. You feel me? Yeah. So I don't, I don't be too sick because I know he following, he going to have a dream. Like Even if this ain't what he want to do in the long run, yeah. he got something that he can go use and get it himself, too. Yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. you, you need that, though. Like yeah. I said, you need that shit teaching kids early on what they want to do. Even if it's some shit, like you said, they might switch up. That shit, shit ain't bad that they know what to yeah, do. Yeah, you, you know? That's you know? all it is. Because you got to have ways to go ahead and get money, make money and shit. Uh -huh. You can't be like, I tell my son all the time, like, nigga, he old. Older than all the other kids, bro. So if something happened to me, you gotta be that nigga. Yeah. Like you gotta be a man, be able to take care of shit. Yeah. And hopefully, what I'm telling you, you listening. So you, if something happened to me, you remember, like, damn, he said this. Yeah, like, for real. You know That's sweet. That's yeah. what's up. That's what you're supposed to no, be. No, you doing. got to, cause like even and shit, like it ain't no guarantee your kids gonna be successful. They might mess up in life, but as long yeah. as you know you gave them that that yeah. game. And then once they, they get, always can yeah, get back on their feet. Once they leave, they can never say you ain't teach me shit. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? But that's like, yeah, that's real. Hell yeah, yeah, hell yeah, nigga. So like, dog, with you, you a producer, as, as well as a rapper, singer, and shit, dog. Like, you made beats for other artists. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you all the time. Be, do you ever be a beat that like, nigga, this shit too cold to give away? No, I do that shit every <laughs> time I make a beat, bro. <laughs> every time I make a beat, I just made a beat the other day. Yeah. And. I called my man and say, yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to shop this bitch out to like Atlanta. Yeah. It was that fire. But then I'm like, I was rapping to it. I'm like, damn, I don't even know if I want to give it away. <laughs> yeah. Like, it'd be crazy, bro. I'd be hating that, though. Cause, but at the same time, I'd be like, sometimes I'd be like, I have to because that's my bag. Like, yeah. I make money off of that shit. Sure. So if I don't sell some of these, yeah. nigga, you ain't going to have as much money as you could have. Now, now Just a million beat, songs. With that same hard beat, you talking about. Say I get it, but I come with that shit. I ain't paid you for it, but mm -hmm. I come with the fucking trashy as motherfucking shit to it. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what you did. <laughs> I ain't got it. It's out of my hands. Yeah. Because even though, like, so this how it's going to work. I can sell you that beat exclusively, and yeah, it's lease just it. yours. I can't give it to nobody else. Or okay. you can lease it to where yeah. I, I can use it, you can use it, everybody yeah. can use it. until yeah. Up until the person that buys it exclusive. Yeah. Everybody beforehand can keep using it. And what, what you do with it is what you do with it. So I still going to get my royalties as a producer on it. For sure. That trash ass song, steal my blow, because there's yeah. some trash ass songs <laughs> that still be born. Nigga, hell yeah. So hell at least yeah. I, I put my foot in the door, you got it, yeah. we, we put it up, no matter what. I ain't got nothing to do with it. Yeah. Now, you, you you being, I don't know how much you charge for beats, dog, but say, like, I'm a new artist, dog, and I can't afford a RTR uh, being beat. It's too mm -hmm. much for me, dog. Like, I'm working at McDonald's and shit, but I'm, I'm cold at music. Mm -hmm. I get YouTube type beat. Do you, do you, do you fall upon people who use YouTube type beats? Do you think it's stupid? Do you think it's, like, ain't think worth it? Because a lot of niggas say don't do it because if that song blow, then you can't do shit with it. I don't think it's stupid, bro, because I'm going to put, put it to you like this. Like... If you do use that beat and it do blow, it ain't you can't do nothing with it. If it blow, you made some money off of it. Yeah. All they gonna do is ask you for a percentage of it. For sure. Feel me? If you blew off of it, you you're able to pay that percentage. Yeah. If you don't get no money off of it, just, they not getting nothing yeah. anyway. Yeah. So what is that? It's you feel me? So it's not stupid. Like it's a lot better to use original beats. Oh, yeah, for you know, sure. exclusive yeah. stuff that's just for you. Yeah. That's way better. But the ones that is used, it's not no problem. It's some sweet ass shit on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I use them motherfuckers. Yeah. And just be like at sometimes I buy them and sometimes I'll be like, I'll holler at you later. <laughs> like, yeah. If I especially if I do the beat and I can't find out where I got it from, yeah. I'm about to Get rid of this Research, song. Yeah, 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 like, oh, I got to get rid of this song Because a lot of niggas be like, dog, no, you can't do that shit. But mm -hmm. I think if I'm dope, but I know I ain't got the money right now, dog. Yeah. Because, like, nigga, I, I, I figured out. Tell them out, come get it off the back end. <laughs> Hell yeah. For I figured out, dog, since doing this podcast shit, bro, like, nigga, it ain't, it, it ain't, it costs a lot to be a motherfucking artist, bro. Yeah. Like, you paying for videos, you paying for motherfucking studio time, you paying for, like I said, features, you, uh, you, you paying for a lot wardrobe. of shit, bro. Yeah, and sometimes niggas will charge you for shit, song placements and shit like mm -hmm. that. Like, if you want to play your song on this shit, this shit. Like, nigga, it costs a lot, nigga. I'm a cheap nigga, so I don't think it was good for me, though. Like, this shit expensive. <laughs> it's expensive as hell, bro. For real, for real. real. So, you also, you're a songwriter, too. Yeah. You writing songs, mm -hmm. same shit. Nigga, if ever, like, you write this song too good to give, or like, 
Can mm-hmm. you tap into somebody else's personal life or just think about, damn, I could think of a woman being scarred. I'm going to write this song. Like, how do you be writing shit, dog, for people? I mostly write it for myself until somebody asks me and be like, shit, let's try to get this. Yeah. Let's try to get this. Uh, We're going to try to shop something out. So yeah. I try to write for that person. Yeah. I can do it. But if I'm writing, if it's just for them, I ain't going to want to keep that anyway because yeah. it's for y'all. You feel yeah. me? So like, how, like, if I come to you like, nigga, my girl cheated on me, nigga. Found out mm. the kid ain't mine. Like, how long do it take for you to write? Off my problems, like write a song. I'm writing while you telling me. <laughs> Empathy. <Hell laughs> I yeah. understand, nigga. Yeah. Let's make a hit. <laughs> I got the beat, per- the perfect beat for this. Duh, hell yeah, duh. The kids not mine. <laughs> hell yeah. <laughs> All this money. <laughs> Real quick, like. Duh. So you, you like, cool with somebody right for you? Uh. Uh-uh. <laughs> like, if it, like if so it, not like like ideas. Like if we in the studio, me, bro, and Polo. Shit. Yeah, and I got like if I don't got like, well, damn, what should I do for this last bar? Yeah, that's it. Like, yeah. I, I mean, I, I don't know. Yeah. It got to be like. Oh, singing know. tip though. What about singing tip? Cause I know niggas who rap don't want nobody to be like nigga. They rap. They they wrote my rap. I mean, all right. So I, I I'll take that back. It was this older guy, my man's I went to high school with. His uncle used to be in the music business. He wrote a song and had, had me and him singing. So I guess I could, but but yeah. now like. I'm not gonna be like I'm. All right, so let's put it like this. I'm not gonna take credit for that shit. I'm gonna be like, no, you wrote that, yeah. and you, you just had me sing it. Yeah. Not, oh, you wrote that. Can't nobody ever know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, so, like no, you, you wrote this song. Know. You wanted you wanted to do a song, yeah. and you know my voice would fit well on there. Yeah, I do it. Yeah. You know, hell yeah. That now, type of shit is a difference. Now with the uh, Broken Chains Entertainment, dog, you had that shit since what? You you started like 2019, 2018, or yeah, before yeah, that, like. 2019, 2018. That's when I actually got the business started. Yeah, so like that's registered. Shit, right now, is that some shit? Like, are you looking for artists to be up under you? Yeah. Or just like right now, you the you the main you the vocal point. But are you gonna soon be looking for other niggas to? Yeah, soon I'm gonna be like. So I, like I said, I don't want no deal. I do want to work with somebody that'll help sponsor shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, for sure. You know, type shit. So my bag can be bigger. So I can bring this. Cause I already got a lot of artists. Yeah. A lot of artists. Like, 11 plus. Yeah. That just want to work with me just because of. What I do, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. But my focus point is to take my what I'm doing and get a lot more people interested, so yeah. we can get those people to come invest into what we doing. Hell yeah. Like, you know. Hell but yeah. I do like this one of my artists. Yeah. Like, and he cold. Yeah, for you sure. Feel me? That's why I do all my stuff with him. Hell so yeah. he's still putting out music every time I am, and we put the money in together. It ain't like I'm just paying for everything. Yeah, for he sure. put him with me. He's a business partner. Hell yeah. You know? That's dope. Hell yeah, man. You got to keep that shit. Keep that shit in the family. Shit. Yeah. Fuck you know. It's, hell yeah. Y'all, it's gonna be y'all better like podcast, that. Man, come over to the podcast, Death Row and shit. <laughs> <laughs> <For> real. <laughs> now, nigga, this. This is some shit I ask everybody, bro. I, bet, I ain't been asking everybody, but as of late, I've been asking this question. Can a chick playlist be a red flag, bro? Like, hmm. she only playing, like, certain shit, like, Man. and you know, like, damn. For me... She played at that wrong time? No, just like, <laughs> to, for me, if a chick always playing Gucci or, like, old Gucci, too, and no word for word, I feel like she probably for the streets. Uh. Like you ain't or you or if you if you mix it up and shit, but if you just strictly on hood rap music, yeah, uh, you might be a hood rap. Yeah, might be. I could be wrong, but that's what I be looking like. Girl, you playing all this hood and shit. You ain't even from that way. <laughs> she talking about and you just know word for word. Yeah, like, be, yeah. really be like cap. Yeah, cause <laughs> that's man, what I really be looking my, at. It. I asked this question. My mother in law got mad at me and shit. So <laughs> God, I'm like, uh, I'm like a, 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 a chick car can tell a lot about him too. Mm-hmm. Like what she driving Like oh shit like, Big old school suburban Oh she thugging <laughs> Tinted out windows Duh She got a bullet wound in her like, leg the, the, old, the old eight Motherfucking Impala Like damn She probably a hood rat yeah. Little neon and shit Probably a little rat in there And shit duh Like yeah. but then, Possibly it, possible Yeah it could be some bitches With a clean whip And be a rat Like Then you could, you could tell a rat shit By the, the shit they got in their car too Mm-hmm. Like damn, that bitch the whole wardrobe in the back. Oh yeah, she a rat. Cause she yeah. be changing clothes and fucking a lot. Yeah, then so you she- got some girls that be in the clean whips. <laughs> and they be all nice and uppity and they clean as hell. But then when they just too much when they drunk. I be hating that shit. Dog. Like, all that mouth just a came from nowhere. Man. And your breath smell like liquor too now. Dog. Shit be bold. I be like, damn, I thought you was um, <laughs> a rat. Dog, and we was talking about like, well, so what, what's some shit that you can just see off the rip besides that? Like, what? And you know then that, that rat radar come off like. All right, see, look. Feet, <laughs> damn, feet is important. Feet, look, man, right feet. Yeah. you can't have no chip nails and shit. Yeah, and shit. shit like that. Or like, I, I can't. Is your skin lotion? Yeah, your teeth yellow. How yeah. your hair look? Yeah, that hair shit important too, bro. Like yeah. if you got, 
Like, I always know, like, you got that long ponytail, say, ass, oh, damn, you getting hit by If you're wearing the bonnet, you're wearing it because you look good in the bonnet, not because you need it. It's like, yeah, there's yeah. a difference. Hell yeah. And bitches who, their whole story, is always, hey, hey, damn, damn, damn you rap. Hey, <laughs> hey, <laughs> that shit annoying. Dog. Change it up. First time. W. <laughs> put a new letter. Something, now. nigga, like, something. Because that A shit, bro, it was some shit. What did bitches you say back in the day? Nigga, I'm about to do a fool. Remember, bitches, you say I'm about to do a fool, dog? Yeah. I had to. I'm about to do the fool. They say that shit like, oh, you a hood rat. I, I guarantee Fuck you. Fuck it up. Mean, <laughs> dog, hell yeah. <laughs> nigga, doing hood rat words and sayings, nigga. You already know, like, dog, man, I thought you was, I thought you was a good, wholesome <laughs> what girl. What else did you say? <laughs> what else did you say? What should you say? Uh, oh, I'm about to. <laughs> She be like, oh, I could freak a nigga to this one. Duh. <laughs> Duh. 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 When the song come on, she be like, I can oh. freak a nigga to Duh. this one. I be like, but that A shit, when, <laughs> when you say A, nigga, I be like, oh shit, I'm gone. Nigga, unless you say A, bay, bay, off a of motherfucking head. What my man, Hurricane Chris? Hurricane nigga. Chris. That's the only time I want to hear A, bay. Only time, nigga. What's your song? Turn it up. Hell yeah. <laughs> so, nigga, what's some shit outside music you want to do, dog? Because it's like, you a funny ass nigga. I can see you in some motherfucking hood comedies and shit, dog. This nigga got important tests and shit, dog. Uh, what's up? Yeah, I said, I can crazy. see you in the outside music, dog. What's some shit you want to do? Cause I can see you playing like some hood comedy shit. I do want to do some movies and stuff. Start some businesses, like actual buildings. Yeah, yeah I'm about to be. I'm a couple. It's a couple people asking me to be in a movie. Nigga, I can see, dog. You could definitely be in some shit, Two dog. people asking me to be in horror movies. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be fire. That's gonna what, be fun. You about to be killing some niggas in that bitch, dog? No, uh, I'm probably, I'm black. I might be the first yeah, one to die. <laughs> dog. <laughs> Like, I don't know though, but I want to do shit like that. I really yeah. want to like go as far as I can, bro. And then, then right. would you write you a songwriter? Nigga, why don't you write your own script? I will, bro. It's just I be, I'm must, already be doing yeah, a, lot. a lot. Nigga. I don't know. I, I I still learning how to organize myself and yeah. my time, bro. But sometimes I don't even get to do everything. Sure. Maybe people want to do stuff with me and they be feeling like I be on them. And I don't. I just be trying to figure out my own stuff, like nigga. That's funny you say that shit, bro. Sure. We had somebody shit the other day, like how niggas be like niggas, niggas and say you change. Mm. But it's really your lifestyle, the shit around you that you doing, I got you, nigga. Like you just busy as fuck. But niggas would be thinking you a whole ass nigga because you ain't out and about like you used to be. But yeah. nigga, you got kids, you got a lady, nigga. You got a business, you got music, you got so much shit you doing that if you're not in my world, you might look at it as me being a whole ass nigga. Right. But nigga, I'm really like I'm out here doing something. So nigga, my free time probably gonna be spent with my kids. Yeah. Like nigga, like I can't be in the streets like I used to be. And niggas don't be understanding that shit, that bro. That's real. Like, you gotta like, prioritize, and it's it's hard to prioritize without adding an extra person. Nigga. Like, bro, I do want to help, and I do want to work with you, bro. Like you, you're sweet. Even if you really sweet, but if I got. 15 other people in front of you that's sweet too and I've been promising them too mm -hmm. I gotta damn work this list out N nigga. I can just jump on like, like alright you can jump in front of everybody hell yeah and I'll like, put you in front of my sister yeah like nigga you said you gonna fuck with me man you yeah. big niggas get on social still media still ain't even got my sister in there yet. Yeah. <laughs> niggas on social media talk to y'all that nigga RTR nigga that nigga oh, change y'all better, <laughs> better watch it man, yeah, I ain't nigga. changed nothing I'm that just nigga, trying to get it together for all of fight career nigga mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, we'll come smack your ass, they about dog. They all come try me now. Hell yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, that's how you had to throw some hands, dog. Said, a couple weeks ago, damn, that's crazy. Damn, for real? Damn. Yeah. That's, you, 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 that was for you or him? You threw some hands a couple weeks ago? I did. Dog, for what, though? Like, it, it was like, family, though. It was our little cousin. He was talking crazy. Our little cousin bigger than us. Yeah, so he, he thought he was just like that. Yeah, he was talking. Thought y'all yeah. some little niggas, so you had a yeah. nigga and shit. Yeah, I'm a grown man. Man, dog. <laughs> he big, though. I'm talking about big, big, big. Man. I was telling my wife, nigga, I ain't threw hands so long, I don't know these bitches even work no more. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, but that's how I threw some hands. I was in high school, nigga. I, I, I'm tired just thinking about fighting now. That's why nigga, we like. be practicing. We be play fighting. I'm be like, me and bro, we be all day. We be like, nigga, what? Yeah. <laughs> I still got it. <laughs> I'm gonna keep them motherfuckers warm. <laughs> That's why I say I'm about to get my son right now a boxing, bro. So yeah. he can always have them hands. I want ready. my son to do MMA. Oh shit, that's like, I want to do MMA too. Shh. Full body control. That's something different. That's how, like I want to have Man. control of my whole body. It belongs to me. I want my Man, son to, you get to do You get nigga right. tap out in the streets like this nigga hey, crazy. Yeah. Good. Nigga just. Which one of y'all just kicked me? That's how I'm trying to have a nigga. Nigga, sing. Yeah, you can throw him up a flying kick. <laughs> Tell me that shit be crazy. Duh, hell no. Yeah, I want to get him in MMA. Like, really? ASAP, bro. I've been trying to do that. Nigga, for sure. Hell yeah. That's just sweet. Nigga, you as an artist, bro, like, what? Not, not 
looking at somebody else, looking at yourself, dog, what would be your definition, like, of a successful, like, career for you is musically, dog, like, mm. it could be money, it could be projects, it could be touring, it could be niggas knowing you all over, nigga, like, oh, I want to do big shows in front of a lot of people, like, yeah. like, all right, so, I already know, like, so I told you I grew up in church, so I do me making D music. I want something that's going to catch somebody's attention because my whole goal is to break them chains, mm -hmm. to change the world. Yeah. The bigger the crowd, the bigger change you can make. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Feel me? Like, Backwoods and Bonfire, Let's Get Rich, it's not the most godly of song mm -hmm. at all. Right yeah. around with a blick. Mm -hmm. But somebody, I got off the stage, and a motherfucker, like, a group of people walked up to me and was like, bro, you... Yo, shit was different from everybody else. You had people drawn. Mm -hmm. Like, I, my voice had the people drawn. Like, yeah, I want to sure. do, like, the Grammys or something. You feel me? That's when I go, that's when I be like, all right, I'm successful. When I really do that change that we really need. Yeah. The world is getting even crazier. Man. I've been wanting to change the world since I was a little kid. Yeah, and it's yeah. getting worse and worse. Nigga, so, for somebody yeah. to come to me and be like, yeah, you had them drawn. Yeah, and they yeah. was really listening. So, yeah, and yeah. people wanted to do music with me afterwards. So, I'm like, yeah, we're going to make sure. a change sure. together. So, that's when I know I'm successful. Oh, yeah, for sure. Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. that's, that's what's up. That's what's up, man. That was real positive, man. Good cool looking. You know what I'm saying? You're a positive black dude. Positive black. <laughs> <laughs> for real. You know what I'm saying? What, what about, uh, what about, um, like some goals, bro? Like, when it's all said, you. You got some goals like within this year. I ain't gonna say long term, but mm -hmm. just within this this year, mm -hmm. next year, yep. like some goals you got you want to knock down. I crazy because when you be asking me these questions, I already be knowing them, but I ain't never thought about it as like a goal. I said after I drop this EP, I want to drop some more, right? But I said it's things that I'm missing to actually like like you said the the entertainment business. They not grabbing people no more. They looking for people that already got it. Mm -hmm. So I said I need a viral video. Yeah. Something to go viral. Yeah. I'm trying to figure out what I shit, need man, to do. Shit, man, it's Manny right now, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> we both say that. We ain't gonna do no shit like that. No, you just told me I was a positive guy. <laughs> yeah. they, these niggas doing it for the clout. <laughs> we gonna be big. We gonna go viral. Clout like, changes. Yeah. Nigga, I'll tear our beans. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> Nigga just smack that nigga for no reason. <laughs> like, that'd be funny as hell, dog. But yeah. no, I, 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 but I know you're talking about, though, dog. Yeah. That's the number one thing, though. I think God. <laughs> I'm gonna post that shit. That shit gonna go viral. He's gonna go viral. He's like, damn. He just said he was positive. Why you smacking him? <laughs> Y'all gonna cut it out. He was positive for God. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> That's uh, crazy. Hell no. That's yeah. what's up. But no, that's all, that's all I take, though. Like, one big moment, one, one big interview, big moment, one bro. big show, one big song, dog. Bro, because the way they react to the music already and the videos we be doing is crazy. Yeah. So, viral, everybody seen it, they ain't going to do nothing but type my name in, keep typing my name in, For see sure. everything I can do. Yeah, then yeah. they're going to become a fan. Yeah, and yeah. then now we can get ready to do what we really wanted to do. Man, hell all yeah. The time. For sure. Hell yeah, dog. Shit, man, we getting down to the end, bro. Yeah. Give, I'll give you a category, man. You give me your top three. Nigga, top three childhood crushes, bro. Oh, like uh, celebrities. Yeah. I was thinking about Bryson. Like, <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> like, uh, Neil Long. Oh, yeah. Nigga. Zoe Saldina. Yeah. That's Colombiana. Yeah. That's Bay. Hell yeah. Damn, yeah. three. Holly Berry. All right, give me Holly your top Berry, three. Berry, top Holly three Berry. current chicks that's in the, uh, uh, celebrities. Mm. Top now? Yep. Rennie. Rucci, she bad. All right, what's her uh, name? Rennie Rucci. Okay, I gotta type her up and shit. Yeah, she cold. She yeah. be going crazy. <laughs> she down in Atlanta. Um, who else? Two. Megan cold to me too. Yeah, dog. She had that little sports illustrated shit. Nigga, I'm like, god damn. I'm gonna fucking be moving. <laughs> Motherfucker, she'll fucking dribble my little ass. Motherfucker be moving. A nigga be like, ah. <laughs> 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 and then, shit, who I just say? Rennie, Megan, yeah. and damn, who else right now? Um, I'm going to say that one. I'm going to say that one. He's going to beef with me. He's going to be like, <laughs> He gonna blow. He gonna be like, so you like her, eh? <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, Janae Iko, she bad too. She pretty as hell to me. Hell yeah, hell yeah, for real. hell yeah, for sure, for sure. Give me your uh, your top three moments in life, bro. So far. Yep. Uh, man. You can go back from a little nigga to now. Nah. Uh, 
When niggas be thinking, I'll be, I'll be that much. Like, Cause it be like, cause they don't be coming to you like yeah. that. I be like, no, man, no, how much life? If one, if you, one, I be nigga. Oh yeah. Right, the one that pop up in your head. Yeah. That's why I say about to people when they first, when you first ask them a question, any yeah. question you ask them, it always subconsciously pop up in their head. <laughs> Hell yeah. You just be scared to say it. <laughs> Hell yeah. But when I won a showcase for backwoods and bonfires, that was sweet. Sure. I yeah, felt yeah. like at, at first I felt like I never won until then, yeah. like actual competition wise. So yeah. that showcase to win to go to backwoods and bonfires, and they called oh, my yeah. name first place. Oh, shit, that was dope. big. Hell that yeah. was big to me. Sure. Um, two more. It can be personal life and shit. You know, it ain't gotta be just all. It ain't gotta be all about the music shit either. Mm. My kids was born. I was hoping you we said gonna that name shit. them as one. Yeah, hell yeah, for real. Niggas be forget that shit. Like, you got kids? Cause. Like every time. <laughs> like even though like. Yeah, them be the biggest moments. Nigga, hell yeah. Nigga, every, every birthday. The anticipation like, to yeah. having kids, even if you ain't want them kids, you be like, damn, but then you think about it, you be like, oh, I'm about to have some new babies. Bro, like, that shit real. Like, that's that shit different. Come, nigga, that shit, like, the moments when you see them for the first time, you be like, damn, like, yeah. nigga, I really got, got to take care yeah. of this. Like, this is mine. Like, All right, and it's big because God gave you the opportunity to create something. Yeah, like, I Everybody got boys, don't get that. Like, kid. I got two boys, but like, when a girl came out, like, dog, like, yeah. I got to protect her from everything. Oh, like, what? Nigga, you got to protect your boys too, but. Your girls got these niggas coming at them too, like you know. I what I'm got saying? one like, son. He's seven, bro. I could swear these twins was about to be boys. Man, <laughs> I got Callie. She too, and that's the love of my life. And he already protective over her. Yeah. He gonna have to protect a lot of girls. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'll be like, for real. <laughs> Where bro. you at? I'm on the east side, and this niggas. He gonna uh, lie, I'm on the way. Man. Where you at? I'm on the west side, and this nigga too. <laughs> for real. For that's real, gonna be crazy, dog. nah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He gonna yeah. be bad. Hell yeah! They like damn, damn, damn. You can have another boy. Yeah, shit. Yeah. I need some help. Yeah, I'm tired. Yeah, you read that too. But yep. that nigga bossing for real. The kids backwards and bonfires. Yeah. What's that third one, dog? Man, I gotta dig deep. Hell yeah. You thinking hard, y'all? Yeah, <laughs> you know niggas thinking hard when they squint, nigga. Like, nigga, what you thinking? Oh, just when I really figured out, when I really found out that I really got it. Yeah. Like I really got what it takes to make sure. everything that I want happen. But shit, when you when you realize that shit, at what point did that shit click in? Like, damn, I'm really dope. Like I, I can like I'm that I'm that nigga. I don't even know, bro. It's like uh, aggressively over this last yeah. year or two, bro. Yeah. Like uh, it's just like little spurts. Like all right, now I know I'm great at networking. Yeah. I know I'm good at that. Yeah. That's I know your, I'm that's, good that's at that. That shit hard. Like shit. niggas think that shit easy. It's hard to yeah. go ahead and, and talk to a, a nigga and, and be friendly. Like, yeah. That shit yeah. hard. Hell yeah. yeah. You don't know how a motherfucker gonna react, man. It just always come off good everywhere I go, bro. It be easy. Yeah, I hope be for easy. I hope for they say they do because nigga, nigga, hold you, nigga. Man. That's gonna be <laughs> crazy. <laughs> crazy. Hell yeah. Nigga, make it the fuck out of here. Like, I'm trying, funny. I'm trying I don't even be like that, bro. I be not. I be. I'm a cool ass nigga. Y'all know that. Yeah. It just be like I don't like when people. Just be doing stupid. No, you just can't be. You can't be disrespectful, though. Yeah, Niggas don't know how to treat people, stupid, bro. Like, bro. That shit everybody can talk, though. Like, bro said the other. He told somebody he was like, "Y'all wouldn't have did that if that was me." <laughs> like, yeah. not because I don't like like stupidity and just being ignorant, yeah, disrespectful. Sure. That's yeah, that's yeah. when I be on. Like, you could be funny, but just you ain't got. Don't be disrespectful with niggas and shit. Like, yeah. we crack jokes, talk shit. Just don't. You know what? You know we ain't cross the line. Hey, you don't tell me you gonna take my shit. <laughs> That's a big thing. Hell <laughs> disrespectful. Yeah. You think I'm a little nigga? Hell yeah. Give me your top three artists right now, bro. All right. Uh, top three artists right now? Yeah, your top three. Hmm. Man, I said, what? I don't remember what I said last time. We <laughs> six months ago. <laughs> no, I, I said top three all the time then. Was it? Yeah. Oh, right now, J. Cole. Uh, oh, man, who I've been listening to? Oh, it was Cole, J. Cole, duh. Uh, Can't go wrong with my nigga Cole World. Shit, nigga, hooping everything. Man. Ain't actually hoop. No, not the industry. Cruddy Man, Polo right. Frost, and Juan. I bet, hell yeah, yeah. we're gonna do it like that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. My hell favorite yeah. artist, bro. Hell yeah. Top, top three motherfucking movies, dog. Oh, uh, movies? Yeah. Life. <laughs> we just watched this shit the other day. Number one, that's my favorite movie, bro. Uh, next Friday. Yeah. Yeah. And. Yeah. Blow. Yeah, that's a good choice. This nigga, I was arguing with this nigga, dog. We talking about the order of Fridays. Uh -huh. One, two, three. Wow. One, no. two, three. What? Yeah. No more locked doors. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's, that's that, that shit, nigga, that, nigga, that, that's your bearing part three, dog. Yeah, it's it's better than three. Three oh, good. Three good. Three was good too, though. Damn, now that I think about it. But you gotta really. I'm, I don't ever just think about the whole all the movies. I know two is the one that yeah, I know all the parts. <laughs> that shit was hilarious. Hell yeah. Give me uh. That nigga say, "What you do to my dog, Holmes? <laughs> Nothing." <laughs> Give me your top three songs you ever done. Mm. 
<laughs> Let's get rich. All right. Cause this intro I got I ain't even put out yet. Yeah. That's fire. And three. I'm trying to close my eyes, try to see it in my head. <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know about the oh uh probably. Yeah oh this song called Angel. Mm -hmm. This was a song I made the beat. It's a big song like it damn near got some guitar like a rock feel to it. Mm -hmm. Me Cruddy Man, Polo Frost, Dre Wine on it. Is that everybody that's on it? I made this song, bro, and I was sitting in the studio by myself, made the beat. I did my part, and I sent it to them. They didn't even want to get on it, but I told them I seen ourselves, like, performing this at the Grammys. Mm -hmm. That's probably, yeah, yeah. yeah, the biggest song, like, that one, Fire That's Like That. Hell I'll yeah. send it to y'all just so y'all can hear it, see what y'all think. For real, that is crazy. Give me your top three, uh, top three motherfucking snacks. Man, I don't eat snacks like that. I'm a food eater. <laughs> <laughs> right, give me your top three foods, Dad, nigga, shit. Taco salad. It's number one. That's my favorite. That's just smack. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Especially you make that yeah. bitch right. What? <laughs> yeah, give me a good burger. Yeah, you got um, yeah, yeah, I love a good burger, nigga. And piece of poplar's deep dish. Hell yeah, nigga. Yeah. Piece, nigga, hell yeah. <laughs> I got turned off though. My wife be liking that motherfucker, the seafood boy. That's um, all right. It ain't. Yeah. It ain't. Yeah, yeah, it's not that good. I just, I just it's really have me a yeah, boy, yeah, deep dish boy. Yeah, yeah. Damn, I remember once that bitch spent about fifty dollars. Like, god damn. You spend that every time you go get Hell you yeah. one large. That bitch forty five dollars. No, nigga, two large is that bitch like. Don't he be, be mad that she don't eat it all. Like, <laughs> Ninety dollars. Hey, can I get my money back, please? <laughs> I'm a cheap nigga, dog. For real. I only ate one slice. You want? Hell yeah. Pro rate this. Hell yeah. Last one, nigga. Top three TV shows, bro. Uh, TV. Yeah. Mm. I gotta think about this. I don't be watching regular TV no more. So it's gonna be throwback, cartoons, right. nigga, shit. Bro, I'm really drawing a blank on all TV shows. <laughs> huh? Power, okay. I can't say Yeah, Power three. used to be yeah. better, dog. Raising like, Kane is sweet, too. Yeah, I, I got to get hip to that one. I only watched, like, the first two episodes. I like, I like, like, action movies, TV yeah. shows, and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Cause Power, yeah, Power, the first two or three seasons was dope. Then it's like, yeah. all right, nah. Started doing too much. This nigga goes to the Superman and shit, dog. All right, like, nigga, still ain't dead. Hell yeah. Even when he died, we started he was still nigga, alive. Nigga, nigga, nigga still. <laughs> Saying he alive, bro. You go yeah. YouTube and see some little right. theories. Like he was right there in the back. Like, right. This nigga hit him in the back. A razor cane. Yeah, yeah. How's he in a dog? Dog. Dog. Bro, no, Uh, the Wayne Brothers. That's a big show. I fuck with the Wayne Brothers. That's how I fuck with this nigga, dog. Yeah. Everything you hate on, nigga. I love. Um. <laughs> uh, hmm. Damn, it's some shows I fuck with too. It's just not coming to my head. Oh, fuck, you got a motherfucking. I got some. Good Fresh shit. Prince, Liver Single, Martin. Martin, yeah, Martin, that's big. San Francisco, Good Times. San Francisco, I ain't, it was all right to me. Oh, yeah, that's it's my just since I was young. Yeah. It just looked so it, old to me. Yeah, I still, it's still, it's funny though. You look at that shit though, it's funny. Yeah, shit. if I probably watched it now, it's like grown, like yeah. it'd probably be funny as hell. Yeah, now. Yeah. But as a kid trying to watch that, Nigga, we yeah. wanted to see the most most update digital shit yeah, ever. Yeah, for sure. Some clean video type shit. Hell yeah, family. Boys, uh, Jamie Foxx, yo. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, that's, that's my shit too. Hell yeah. All right, dog. Yeah. Give me a uh, give me a drunk moment or a high moment, bro. A time you was fucked up off the drink, nigga, or the or the weed or both. Hmm. All right, bet. Woo. Shit. High <laughs> moment. So y'all, I don't smoke too much, bro. Yeah. Right. <laughs> my freshman year, I used to smoke a lot though. Yeah. So I don't like smoking too much, cause that should give you me cotton mouth. <laughs> so freshman year, bro, we was hot boxing outside the dorm room in the car, bro. And I knew my shit was dry as fuck. It's dark though, can't nobody yeah. see but me. I can feel it, like all this shit, bro. All this shit, lick your lips with sandpaper. That's what I was doing. <laughs> feel me? So I know it. I'm like, bet. I go in, I ain't got no cup. We got the little water dispenser yeah. that you put in your cup. Yeah. Ain't got none. I met that bitch like this. <laughs> right? Still ain't nobody see it. It's light in that bitch though. Yeah. When we get on the elevator, my man looked at me, he said, Dang! <laughs> He was like, that nigga got the pookie lips. <laughs> I was sick. I'm like, man, fuck you. Shut up. I'm trying to hurry Duh. up and get upstairs and get some water. Push Duh. two, nigga. <laughs> Duh, nigga. But that was probably the craziest shit in the Duh. world. I was sad. And I'm like, man. <laughs> Kept shirt wiping it. It was so dry. <laughs> my skin particles coming off my lips, nigga. I'm like, this is terrible. I, I never smoked that much weed again. Duh. <laughs> that shit. And then they be a whole ass nigga not to tell you that your shit got Bro, my shit. My man's was like, he was high as fuck too. He was like. Damn, we on the elevator. It's four people <laughs> at each front of the elevator. All three, <laughs> all three just looked at me. I knew my shit was boiled. I'm like, man, fuck you. 
chill as ball, nigga. Dog. Swear to God, that was the job. That nigga said he did. That nigga said he was bald. I was in the car the whole time. I'm like, man, this is going to be bad when we get out. I got to hide this shit. Dog. Nigga drink a bucket of water in that bitch. For real. You ain't got no drunk moment? Yeah, I used to be, I'm always drunk. Yeah, yeah. What, <laughs> shit what? crazy. Let me see. You got fucked up some shit, nigga, being drunk? I oh, should let this nigga tell his drunk moments. No, come on, man. Go ahead, dog. No, we ain't gonna tell that. We can't tell that. It's gonna come back. Like, damn. You put that on camera. No. Like, damn. No. What's some fucked up shit I did, drunk? <laughs> you my brother. Oh. oh! Four for four. Yeah. Y'all wanna know why we made that? Yeah. Man. This is how we made that. Me being drunk. Four for four came from. All right. It was a junk ass night. We was at the studio. The next morning, we got up. It was like six o'clock. We trying to go to McDonald's get some McGriddles off top. Yeah. I love them motherfuckers. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I get yeah. my bro. He buying them. I think I was I drive, Trent was driving my little brother, uh, Trent Piff. Yeah, he yeah, another yeah. artist. He drove us to the McDonald's out there in Ipsy. Yeah. We got. Some, I'm sitting in the car. I'm fucked up. He, Trent driving my car. We go to the first McDonald's. He get. Uh, they get. They even bought my food this night. Yeah. And I'm always the one driving. Yeah. I can even I can drive anytime. Yeah. But this night, I guess I could. Yeah. So we get in the food. They ordered me some McGriddles. I got two of them with no egg. And this nigga, I'm like, man, I'm still hungry. This nigga gave me one with a wrong egg. I ain't never had the wrong egg from McDonald's. <laughs> nigga, this was a couple months ago. Nigga, I ate that bitch. I said, that bitch amazing. Dude. Nigga, we drove all the way back to Inkster. We dropped Trent off. He drive from Trent House. He don't be driving yeah. at all. You feel me? Yeah. He don't even like driving. Yeah. Right? He drive from Trent House to where we living at. Yeah. We get to our house park and get in the front. I said, nigga, I ain't gonna lie, I need some more. Yeah. Nigga, he like, bro, you for real? I said, no, go back now. Yeah. Or get out of my car, I'm driving. He said, I'll drive you. He drove all the way to another McDonald's. Duh. Got two more. Yeah. Right. My boy Flawless the guy. He yeah. that's one of uh, big producer, right? For sure. That's my man's though. Yeah. He we find out, they find out I ate five McGriddles. <laughs> This one night, nigga. This nigga Dude. Flaw called me. He like, man, Bean, you really ate 10 buns. <laughs> 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 10 bun bean in this bitch. Yeah. So, four for four. It started off. Polo say, 10 buns. Yeah. 10 bun bean in this bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Ten bun. That's how the song, that's how we made that song. Bro. That's how that song. That was the junk and shit. Like, I was hungry. I ate five McGriddle. Duh, nigga, that bitch going Five McGriddle. I'm them bitches. was great. Duh, them chicken hey. McGriddle be good as hell. Man, that's, fuck, that'd be all right. I fuck with them bitches heavy. I just know, like, like chicken breast like that. Yeah. Chicken breast be kind of dry sometimes. That ain't cooked right. I'm on dry titty. <laughs> no, you gotta make the right chicken breast. Dog, yeah, you gotta, you gotta be right. Hell yeah, that bitch gotta be a little juicy, dog. Yeah. Shit, man, I appreciate you coming on this bitch. Bro, you already dog. know, bro. I appreciate you. You already know, dog. nigga. Whenever you got some shit dropping, you always come back, nigga. Whenever, no, dog. dog. I you about to get you, crazy man. on this bitch. So he tell his drunk moment. He want to tell yeah, shit, right. dog. <laughs> shit, but nigga, uh, shit. You already know you want to leave people with some positive words. You want to leave them with some motherfucking singing shit, nigga. Like it's on you, dog. Words. I ain't singing today. <laughs> Y'all want a feature? Come out, let me. <laughs> That's your positive word? No. Nah. Uh, man, just keep going, bro. Like, yeah. that shit is inevitable. Be genuine. Be a good person yeah, first. For sure. That's going to work in the long run. Like, just be genuine. Don't just be out here using people. Don't try to be an asshole thinking you better than everybody. Because mm -hmm. there's some people out here that's real humble that's way better than you. Yeah, you feel sure. me? So why you cutting people off and burning bridges? Mm -hmm. You got to know there's some people out here that's really gifted and humble at the same time. Yeah, but yeah. just keep going, bro. Be good people. Be good people. Take care of yours. And shit, just keep going, bro. Hell yeah. What's up there? Hell yeah, for sure, for sure, man. Shit, I ain't got no, I ain't got no words, man. I'm just going to end that shit. Oh, yeah, if you want to make grills, me down. We talk about y'all, nigga. You could go ahead and sponsor us and shit, though. <laughs> for real. All the grills and shit, though. Ten buns. You know what I'm saying? Ten buns on that, nigga. Crazy, because we named the song 4 for 4. Ain't got nothing to do with McDonald's. Uh, <laughs> hell yeah, I swear to God, nigga. I thought about be, I'm like, this nigga say Wendy's or something. And we want to shoot the, we, we going to shoot the video in the Wendy's, too. <laughs> The backstory was never supposed to come out. I was right. like, man, fuck this. They can know. Hell yeah, that shit <laughs> fuck this hell, dog. For real. My shit, yeah, my shit, I'm gonna go over this shit, dog. Just don't hate on no nigga, dog. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you see a nigga doing good, man, it's okay to share a nigga shit, dog. Don't, don't be, don't be on some whole shit, bro, because you, you know what I'm saying? Your shit ain't getting the likes or the views or whatever. Like, nigga, shit. It, it costs nothing to share a nigga shit, bro. Oh, and you put that shit in your story. It's only gonna be there for 24 hours, nigga. Oh. <laughs> like, like, we all gotta help each other out because, nigga, the person you help out might help you out in the long run, man. nigga. That's so a good bridge. You, you never, never yeah, burn no you bridge. never know who you might be home. You never know who you might be helping. You never know, dog. That yeah. shit might come back around. So shit, man. Until next time, man. Shout out to everybody. Shout out. Shout out to everybody. Go get that motherfucking album. Oh yeah, where you can find the album, bro? Uh, everywhere. Apple Music, Spotify, Title, 
all above. You can put it on your story on Facebook, on Instagram. Man. Just, yeah, yeah. You know, can fuck with me. It's called No Restraints EP yeah. RTRB. Yeah, man. Give my nigga a listen, man. Y'all listen to that whole ass. Yeah, y'all gonna like it for Drake sure. Drake album so. and that Kanye shit, man. Go listen to my nigga. Shit, I'm pretty dog. sure y'all gonna like this better than both of them albums. Huh? <laughs> it's, it's, it's slide like that. For sure. Yeah, we yeah. it, man. But shit, man. Holla at y'all boys next time.